Let me just go get my note here. Okay. All right. So we're starting now, and this is a cutscene. This is a monologue. So here we go. Gonna kill him. So before the Wolf Guard ensured the ascension of the new rulers of Kalora, and the Pancake Club's dismantling of the corrupt system during the fifth Gauntlet of Gathering. Along with the scale breakers neutralizing the war dragons in Exoria, one year ago, a group of misfits meet and start a chain reaction of events upon an island full of sin and skullduggery. Our story takes place 1,055 years after Pandemonium in the eastern side of the Mitan continent. There lies the island nation of Skullduggery, named after the order of necromancers that claim this land as their new home. The island is one of the fastest growing business hubs in the world of Taran. At the eastern edge of the island, an ideal spot for ships from the sky and the sea, lies the bustling metropolis, or should I say necropolis, known as Skullduggery City. This city is filled with every modern facilities in Tarin. Towers and Oriental-style architecture stand tall as the living and undead citizens scramble to get to where they are needed. Carriages drawn by skeleton horses rush through traffic, carrying passengers to their workplace. It passes by a park where we see a skeleton climb up a tree to help a white cat down and return it to a little girl. As this, as this wholesome exchange happens, a man in a purple suit passes by them, rushing to meet a woman. The man enters a bar, and it looks like a typical bar, and from there, we can see a young woman having a drink to herself. And this is where we start. Uh, Mika, can you please describe Vendetta's appearance and what hey. she would be doing? before Nikolai approaches? Um, <laughs> I, am, I am the young woman. So, uh, so here you see uh, Vendetta. So you don't actually see Valak here in the bar. So yeah. um, Vendetta's just, uh, is this a table or a carpet? Uh, the, where we are right now, that doesn't happen yet. You're not yet in the Ah, all right. This is okay. just a cut scene, yeah. Right. All right, right. All right, so it's just a play. Okay, so yeah. in the bar, Usually, Vendetta is sitting by herself, you know, take, uh, you know, she's an introvert. Uh, mm. She's drinking, she's drinking, you know, something, something alcoholic, whatever. And she scans the room and just keeps to her to herself, like, if he, if she finds someone familiar or just, just a familiar sign or a familiar behavior. So, she, Vendetta's just really just uh, scanning all, all over the room to see if she finds someone familiar or suspicious. Yeah. I see. As, as Vendetta does that, you can hear footsteps approaching you from behind, and you turn around and you see uh, your uncle Nikolai. He's dressed in a purple suit. He has, he's a tall man. He has dark hair, a well-trimmed beard. He has glasses on. And he has this gray skin that uh, shows his race as a changeling. But even though he has this gray, ashy skin, he still has that youthful energy as he approaches you. And as he approaches you, he tells you, Hey, Vendetta, I'm hoping you're not busy at the moment. I, I found a job that I think, you know, you'd like this one if you're not busy. I go, Nikolai. Hi. Um, it's been it's been long since we we saw each other. Yeah. What do you have for me? Well, I have this client, very good client. He is pretty rich as well, so the money's gonna be good. It's uh, it's a bit of an investigation related thing, but it just won't be you and me. We're we're going to need uh, other people and with my connections, I think I know some people that can help us. So. You could just follow me, and we right. could recruit these people. Interesting. All right. Sure, let's go. You both exit the bar, and we cut to another scene. 
And in this scene, this takes place in a place called Blightside Academy. It is a school in a very prestigious school in Skaldagri City, located uh, in in somewhere near the edge of the of the city. But this territory is still, you know, very busy. You can see a lot of students running around the place. Mm -hmm. It's like a huge campus. And the campus is surrounded by the bones of a massive creature, it seems. So there's mm -hmm. these like bones that serve as like a border for the for the university. Mm -hmm. And as Nicola and Vendetta enter the Blightside Academy, you enter the building, you know, it has these like dark academia aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And we cut to a scene in a classroom. And from there, uh, Bunch, would you please describe what your character is doing and what they look like? Oh, uh, well, Fira, for short, so it's easy to say, he would be in the middle of I would say, in a discussion, he seems to be etching out, well, using chalk to, well, I'm assuming a chalk, or, mm -mm. yeah, let's say chalk. Uh, he seems to be teaching language, grammar, and syntax. Currently, he's marking out these terminologies, and he seems quite busy, but in terms of mannerisms, when you see him, he seems to be using his hands a lot, fiddling, making jazz hands, and then adjusting his hair when he can. He hasn't even noticed uh, anyone has come because he was engrossed in teaching. All right. As you're engrossed in teaching, you just hear like a knock at the door. And this, you're a bit far from the door, but you hear a knock. And then you hear a voice saying, I'm coming in. And you see a door open, and the students there, like, look, and they recognize it as the headmaster of Blightside Academy. The headmaster is uh, known to everyone as the Magister. Let me type out what, what the Magister. He is the, the headmaster of Blightside Academy, and he's also one of the members of the leadership of this whole island and he is in charge of the school he is one of those necromancy sorcerers that are rare in Taran, and he is basically like a, a skeletal being sitting upon a floating chair and he has these jewels that are embedded into his uh, skeleton body and he wears like this uh this this cloak that um that that an academic person would probably wear like a black cloak and he's on this chair floating towards you and he tells you professor trandafira you have some guests looking for you in the middle of class ah yes well apparently it is urgent so, I guess you'll have to end the class early. All right. Uh, don't forget, he turns to the students. Um, mm. I'll have to dismiss you early, but don't forget the homework that I've tasked you. And please, please bring your, bring the necessary books because we will be learning Celestial next time. He dismissed, and after that, he turns to the to the to the magister. Uh. Do I? I don't believe I'm expecting anyone, but where are they? Oh, they are in the lobby of the academy. You can have your private conversation. I'm going to have to go and do other things now. Right. All right. I will do. Uh, he just gets his stuff and then walks, walks off to the, to the lobby. He, you walk to the lobby and, uh, you know, you walk past by the academy. You see a lot of, like, skeleton workers doing the chores and students running by. And then when you reach the lobby, that's where you see a man in a purple suit. And you also see uh, a young woman uh, with uh, serpentine features. So, yeah, um, the man approaches you. And you 
uh, recognize a bit who this guy is. You've met this man before during a, a function in, in the academy. You re remember him as Nikolai, so he approaches you, tells you, uh, Professor Tandafira, you do remember me, right? You were you were here in the academy for for that one event. Uh, yes. May I help you? I'm here because I do need your expertise as a linguist for a certain job. I hear that uh, you know, apart from teaching, you do other work, and I believe with the money the, that will be entailed, maybe you'd be interested in assisting us. Sorry. Not interest you. Am I to work alone, or am I with others? This will be a six, seven-man group, so I hope you do not mind that. Uh, no, it wouldn't be. No, oh, that's acceptable, yes. All right, then let's go along then. Mm -hmm. So okay. you guys, yeah, kind of you guys... You follow. Yeah. Hmm. You guys leave the academy, and in the next scene, uh, we will be going to to a farm area near the edge of the city. And in this farm area, it's full of like um, a, 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 a field of wheat is there, and there are trees uh, near the edge of the farm. You see skeleton workers like picking these crops. You also see normal people as well who seem to enjoy their job at picking crops as well. And you also see these like scarecrow constructs that help uh, also with the labor. And among among that, you see uh, you see two houses and. Uh, like two huts where uh you know that that is rented there and out there you see uh you see uh a tabaxi is there a white fruit tabaxi is in near this hut and this is uh okay could you please describe what uh circa is doing what she looks like yep so my girl sorka she is uh, I, I imagine her just sitting on the ground, playing with the wheat she is. And she looks very bored. Mm. Yeah. That's how I imagine her in this moment. I see. Yeah. As you are sitting there all bored, that's when you notice three individuals approaching you. You recognize the man in a purple suit known as Nikolai. You've stolen a few things from him before as a job, and uh, but you don't recognize the other, um, the man in red and the uh, young woman that approached him. Uh, Nikolai approaches you and he tells you, uh, Miss O'Connor, I'm hoping you're not busy at the moment. I have a job that could probably use your skills. Remember you? Yes, I remember you. Uh, but I'm sorry. What was your name again? My name is. I, I apologize. Nikolai. I have very bad memory. Uh -huh, what? Oh no! I love that is, it. That is quite all right. You know, my, I do my job really well. If nobody remembers me, I mean. Imagine a changeling that everyone can remember. Pretty terrible, so... Uh, you got a sense of humor. I like you, yes. Hello, how may I help you on this fine day? Well, we have a job, and that would require a lot of sneaking around, you see. And maybe with your skills, you know, being able to sneak around, you could be useful for this job. And that's just to be had in here, too. So it's not going to be a complete waste of time. So are you in? I do like sneaking around, and I mean, I don't have much to do at this farm, so yeah, sure, why not? Excellent. Now, there's another individual here that the people directed me. He could also help us, so let's go further into the wheat field over there. And yeah, the four of you head to the wheat fields. 
and you notice you're you guys are approaching this man in his 50s just picking at some wheat and so link please describe what your character is doing and what he looks like what's he wearing lincoln you're muted link <laughs> you're muted i can't hear you is he here oh man should be looking at the phone <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. I will whisper to my uncle Nikolai. Yeah. yeah. Uncle, exactly what type of job are we supposed to do? And I, I don't understand how these people can help us achieve this job. They don't seem like the individuals for the job, if you know what I mean. Excuse me, I heard that. <laughs> Well, oh, sorry, sorry. Well, don't be like that, Vendetta. This this is a very specific job, one that requires your talent in combat, and a linguist, and a few sneaky little thieves, and a spellcaster, just to make sure everything goes well. Oh, okay. Well. Anyway, it looks like. The farmer is busy. We'll, we'll have to wait until he's done with his wheat job. <laughs> <Huh>? Wheat <laughs> job? We will cut the scene and it will cut to uh, Wayne's character. So, uh, Wayne, how, uh, the, your, your character will not be recruited by Nikolai, but you'll be pulled into this case. So I'd like to... Uh, Ask you, um, what would does oh Simon be doing? You know, uh, he's while he's, you know, waiting for this. Cool. He's probably working on another case, right? And mm -hmm. uh, it's about it's about wrapped up. So he's with like some <clears throat> local law enforcers, and they're thanking Dusk Bunny. Uh, thank you, Dusk Bunny, for. Uh, solving this yet again and then dust bunny you guys see a a tall figure uh, coated in brown his fur is brown <clears throat> his uh, trench coat is like a tan brown he looks like this he's got a notebook uh, that like a very handy notebook that he flips out when he's writing notes and then he has a uh, a quill like or a pencil like uh always uh, by his side uh and then he looks very dramatically away from the crime scene and all the police and the law enforcement as they're like dra uh, pulling away the 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 perps the bad guys that that does uh, that simon just ca caught and then simon mm -hmm. simon then says to um the uh, the the officer. Well, officer, somebody's got to do the job, and it's a good thing that I was in town today. Uh, but you're welcome, and don't tell anybody you saw me here. <laughs> so the skeleton officer understood what you said and nods its head and give you a thumbs up. <laughs> there you go. And then Simon uh, just like walks away from the crime scene and he takes his notebook, he flips it open to like a different uh, part of uh, his notebook. And then he's like, okay, so next thing on my list is to go to the grocery store, grab some milk. <laughs> and uh, I still haven't found a place to stay here. So I need to look for an apartment, someplace cheap. I don't... And then yeah, you know, he just he just continues on waddles. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And is Link back? Oh my God! Yeah, What's here, happened? Here. Oh, thank God. Okay. So we cut uh, back I to the I farm. Introduced. Oh, okay. We cut back to the farm, <laughs> and so Link's character is done farming and Nick, uh, please describe to us what you're doing before Nikolai and the group approached you. Okay, hopefully I don't disconnect. So, um, what you see is a man of average height, 
cast brown eyes, brown skin that seems like it's been on the sun quite a lot, and white hair showing his age. He's wearing a brown overshirt, a white undershirt, blue pants, and wooden sandals. Very. Hmm? Oh, no! oh no! Oh um, no! I think he was about to say very Filipino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um. Uh, well, we're gonna. Sure. While while we're waiting on uh, Link to undisconnect again, uh, we're gonna skip the part and oh, he's Hello. reconnecting. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Continue, please. Yeah. Uh, where was that? Where did I cut off? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, very. What? Yeah. Okay. You were so, describing um, your clothes. The last thing he was doing was. Uh... <laughs> Oh, oh, no. oh my goodness! Yes, 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 yes. We're good. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. So basically, he's got a brown overshirt, white undershirt, blue pants, and wooden sandals. That's his overall getup. And okay. at the moment, he's using his druid craft to harvest the produce and putting them on baskets. And then, um, someone's approaching me. He said. Yeah, mm -hmm. someone's approaching you, and you look to see who it is. You recognize the man because the, you, the man was introduced to you uh, a couple uh, yesterday by by someone from the Agromancy tribe. So they already oriented you that you know today is gonna be a day where you're going to take a job for this group of people. And uh, since you are you know, since you had this epiphany of like helping out the agromancy tribe, you decide, okay, this job could help benefit the tribe. So sure. So Nikolai approaches you, and he tells you, "You're Homer, right? We've met yesterday. Uh, they told me that you are the one who will help us uh, on this job we have." All right, right. You must be uh, Nikolai. Eh? Yes, that that would be me. All right. Well, I could certainly be a service to you. What do you Excellent. need me to do? Well, with your druid magic, I'm sure you could have a few spells that could assist the rest of the people in this job. So, so are you in on the job? Oh, He's disconnected. Right. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Say, so, well, I guess if you need me to prune some weeds, then sure. Help out with that. That will be that will be excellent. All right. We should head to uh, another place. Let's all go to go on right, now. Go ahead and lead the way, Nikolai. So Nikolai leads you, and somewhere you pass by on the streets, and Nikolai mentioned, TJ is supposed to meet us here. I wonder where he is. And uh, TJ, please describe how uh, what TJ is doing and uh, what he looks like, please. TJ? Can, can maybe, he hear? maybe he's, he's speaking through. Uh, maybe he oh, wants no. to talk. Hello. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We hear you now. On the streets. Mhm. Mm oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, but he's, he's hiding to work in up in an alleyway. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, he just like blue skin wearing a uh, and uh, sleeping in an alleyway. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it. You're not going to steal from anyone? <laughs> 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 uh, 
You're, you're already, you know, like uh, TJ, Tej already met. Um, I've been waiting there for hours. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and then, uh, actually, uh, Vendetta, you've already met met, uh, met Tej actually a week ago because a week ago he tried to steal from you and Nikolai, but Damn. then, <laughs> but then you know, like, uh, like you caught him, and you were both impressed that he was able to sneak up on you. So nice. Nikolai decided to remember him in case there's a job nice. that requires but sneak. But after seeing Tej again, I would like to check if I still have my valuables. You still have your valuables. <laughs> okay, so, great. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nikolai tells Tej, um, all right, kid, we have a job, and I think it would be best if we include you in this one since you're very good at sneaking around. And there's money here, so you wouldn't be needing to steal anything for a while. So let's go on then. I heard money. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, All right. <laughs> I mean, you um, had you had me at money. <laughs> and remember, do not try to hurt or harm people unless you know, unless they attack you. Just just remember mm. that. Or else we mm. or else we lose the money, and then that will make everyone will be sad. <laughs> so. So, hmm. so so keep no, that dagger no, so, in your pocket. So I can't so I can't rob anybody, anybody in this, in this group? group. Don't rob anyone in this group. Please yeah. do. Not. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, let's go. We still need to meet one last person and he's the last person i re going to come because I was scared to go alone because I'm scared of him. He is frightening. So <laughs> so let's all go together. And if he does anything scary, I have all six of you to back me up. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And as you are walking, leaving that alleyway area, uh, you head to another location and... Uh, Carlo, please describe to me where would businessman be and what would he be doing and what he looks like. Oh, you mentioned an alleyway, right? Yeah, there were, there, we passed by an alleyway. Okay, <laughs> so also you, look, you look in an alleyway and then you yeah. see a guy running away from oh. where businessman is. So you see, you see this guy and he's uh, very well kept. He has well kept hair. Like the from the yeah. Oh no, Carlo. Must you do? Does he? Oh, yeah, I'm pushing oh, okay. to that. Yeah. So he's wearing some kind of black vest, and mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe this. I Google searched formal D and D, and I liked it, so I placed it there. Yes. Right, guys. Okay. Chat. <laughs> nice. Show us what he's wearing. <laughs> There Ooh, we go. That seems I like, like something it. he'd wear. Ooh, yeah. he's fancy. Yeah. Yeah. So you see him. He he has his right glove off, and he's actually wrapping it with bandage. And he sees you guys, and he's like, "Oh, well, I thought I'd get bored here, keeping me waiting." Yes, I apologize, this man. I I was out here gathering the others, and uh, so. That job I mentioned before, are you in on it? There's money to be had, so I hope it piques your interest while you're still here in the island. Well, of course, I'm also in it for the money, but I'm sure you won't forget that other deal we had. Of course, of course. All right, then. We should go head out now. The people in the mansion are probably waiting. And you guys have, uh, Nikolai guides you to the mansion. And uh, is everyone on Albert? Did you guys open the Albert in a page? Yes, yes. sir. Actually, All right. no, let, me, let me just walk my feet. This looks like a fancy place. I'm gonna just yep, walk my feet right there. <laughs> <laughs> I got one of yeah. my shoes. Homer, on There's... the other hand, is walking in with his dirty sandals. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I don't belong here. 
I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be uncomfortable, Sorka. I'm sure the rich, nice people over here can afford to clean it. So, besides, they're the ones who hired us for this job. So, they should be accommodating. Okay. Now, okay. I take Nikolai to the side and I say, I'm sure you're well aware that I can trust these people. You know how I do not take kindly to lack of loyalty, so to say. Of course, I understand. Don't I'm worry. I pat you on the shoulder and then we go on our way. All right. Now, as while we are here waiting in the lobby, let me explain this job quickly. So this job entails that we break into a secret lab laboratory somewhere in the city and collect a few evidence, it seems. But why I could just, you know, let the our employer go on and explain it all to you and meanwhile simon you're not you weren't recruited by nikolai but okay. you're actually recruited by the employer himself so got it he will be here in the table you'll be here uh -huh. and i'd like everyone to group in this uh, dining area where simon is please take the the this uh Oh shit! Wrong, wrong thing. These chairs. Uh, these. Hold chairs. on. These, these chairs. These, these chairs in the area, because people are sitting there, invisible people. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, mm. Yes, less important NPCs don't deserve a token. Yeah. <laughs> Va Valak is. Uh, he's not here. He's. He decides to be invisible. Okay. And so all seven of you are here. All right. You guys enter uh, this dining hall. You actually walk around the house. You look at the house and you realize, like, this house is very, very minimalist. Like, it's fancy, but there's not too much, like, decorations. And for... Um, for the for some of you seasoned thieves out there and for like a bounty hunter as well you guys realize that this place is not a place where someone like usually lives this it's is usually Air like it's an airbnb is, yeah it's like an airbnb basically like what someone hired this hired this huge fancy mansion just to have a conversation with you guys so it's an airbnb just goes to show just how private this mission is that the, the employer would go to this extreme. <laughs> Carlos would air D and D. But the uh, it's that's great. That's perfect. Nico Nikolai explains as he walks you guys to the dining hall. This job I got is uh, pretty exclusive, actually. You see, I met these people back in the Gosalteo Empire, and I have close ties with the higher ups over here. So they have a mission that requires uh, you individuals, and hopefully, uh, once you explain the mission, you, you'd see that, you know, it'd be a mission worth taking. Uh, the client of mine, he was, he's, a, he's one of the royals in the empire, and he was a childhood friend of my son, uh, Jed. So... Uh, just not to put you on the spot, it is actually the Emperor himself who is hiring you out for this job. And as he opens the dining hall, you see a few individuals present. You see oh. a tall man with golden skin and with red hair, purple glasses, and a white reg uh, regal outfit. You also see... Two guards standing at his side, a, a woman with a gothic appearance but with like a flower crown and a half-orc. You see a beautiful woman as well right next to him uh, with her hair tied up in a bun and with pale skin and a purple dress. And you also see a, a skeleton dressed in detective clothes and another uh, a har har Aragon who... Aringon? Aringon is also dressed in, a de in detective clothes and also 
um, another another man's here actually. Uh, he's also dressed like a detective. He has a coat on, and he's not smiling. He just has like a nice, like friendly face. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, the people that hired you. Uh, Nikolai introduces uh, you guys. So please meet. His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Ronin of the Gosalpeyo Empire, along with his consort, uh, Empress Olympia Gosalpeyo. Oh, and uh, we have a few detectives here as well. Uh, Detective Simon, Detective Marrow, and that friendly guy over there, Detective Sage. And, uh, and then Nikolai introduces the group to Ronin and the party. So, Emperor, Your Highness, this is Vendetta, Tiege, Homer, Sorka, the businessman, and Trandafira. And, uh, so, let's, uh, shall we start the meeting? And then Ronin says, yes, of course, let us start the meeting now. Uh, Thank you, first off, all of you for coming here. This mission is quite private, so much so that I had to literally rent this entire manor and send the family to another hotel just so we have privacy. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Olympia, maybe you could explain it best. And then Olympia, she uh, stands up and she says, Yes, of course, dear. So, all right, everyone. The reason we all hired you is because we want you all to basically infiltrate this laboratory that the Praetorian guards found in their investigation. Because, you see, uh, just to give you context as to why you want to uh, infiltrate this laboratory is because we all have reason to believe that there are some conspirators within my husband's court. So me and the Praetorian guards, we did some little digging around on some suspects, and we found out that they have a secret laboratory here, all the way in Skaldagri Island, far from home. So we would like all seven of you, including you, Detective Simon, to go and... Uh, break into the slab and acquire whatever evidence you have you can find to confirm our suspicions of the court's corruption. They could be documents, journals, interesting items, and weapons. So, uh, yeah, that is the mission. Break into this lab, find some evidence, steal some of them. You know, um, I guess... I guess you have if the guards if any mercenaries are there kill them I guess I you know within reason and and yeah that's that's all what we asked for would that sound good to all of you and the money emperor uh looks at Vendetta and says ah oh, yes of course we, uh, the money is good uh 400 gp each does that sound like a good enough deal? That sounds reasonable, Ember. All right, very good. And, uh, oh, by the way, I do hope, I want to make this clear that uh, you would keep this whole mission to yourselves. I don't want anyone else involved but us. Because if our enemies somehow find out... Uh, all of us will collectively get in trouble. Was that understood? Of course. Crystal clear. All right. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what will await you in the lab. There could be mercenaries guarding the place. So I'm sure you have no qualms of doing what you need to do. But if it is anything, if the lab is anything like the ones in our empire, there could be traps, there could be security measures, maybe a few arcane wards that could trigger the guards. So 
just be careful, I guess. All right? Mm hmm You got it, sir. I right. ask Emperor Ronin. So, do you need us to do this today? I actually gotta prepare some of my spells in case well, we got those arcane wards to deal with. Well, it's not in a rush, really, but, you know, the sooner it's done, the better. How much time do you actually need for that? I'll need one day. One whole day? Hmm. That's fine, that's fine. We could do... Oh, wait, no. Uh, uh, Link, I can say that since you were informed ahead of time and said, like, by Nikolai, I guess... Uh, okay. Whatever is explained, like, you can prepare the appropriate spells, so, yeah. All right. Okay, in okay. that case, that conversation didn't happen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, Emperor Ronan also asks Simon, Simon, I hope you do not mind working on this case alongside with these people. Will that be all right with you? No, 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 your uh, emperorness, but uh, <clears throat> I'll make sure these guys are uh, kept on straight and, and in line, you know. So, you guys heard the emperor, and he like, addresses, addresses the rest yeah. of the group. So, uh, I'll be keeping then... an eye on you. <laughs> okay. So, Sorka, she whispers to Homer, <laughs> that bunny, he sounds funny. Try to be your cover his mouth. <laughs> everyone tries Nicol not to laugh. <laughs> Nikolai Amashur said everyone like, Oh don't worry, uh your Imperial Highness. Um I'm sure I'll keep them all set straight and uh, based on the deals we have, they'll they'll keep in line. The the money for sure will keep them in line, so you can uh, trust that they will get this job done, and yeah, uh, Simon, we should get going now. Mm -hmm. yeah, Simon done. just mut Simon just mutters underneath his breath. That was exactly the same thing I said. Like just what? <laughs> <laughs> this Simon. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and. Uh, so Ronan uh, allow, like says the meeting is adjourned, and you guys can actually head out. He gives you a map uh, that gives you directions to exactly where you need to go. Um, you base the lab is located underneath the city, so you have to access it through the tunnels, through the sewer system, which is in the city. Mm -hmm. Skaldagri City has a massive sewer system to compensate for any flooding issues since they're. They're kind of built in like a base catch basin uh, area, so they built this like massive sewer system that lets them like prevent any flooding. Mm. And from there, uh, Ronan explains that his Imperial Guards, especially Riker and Persephone, they're the ones who track down the location of the sewer and they have a map giving you where you need to go. And mm. so, you guys are taking one of the carriages driven by a skeleton and a skeleton horses so you guys are like in a carriage heading to the to the constru abandoned construction area uh so while you guys are in the carriage the carriage is big enough to carry all seven of you all eight of you including nikolai so uh nikolai will uh yeah, he's still, he'll prepare the fare and everything, so you guys got it covered. Uh, here's a nice time to, you know, um, make some conversation, get to know each other, and role play. And, you know, remember those rumors that you guys have, you know? You can ask each other if that's true or whatever, so let's go. Kind of your response if Fanny just covers his face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just letting, uh, just, just, just type, keep... Are you? Well, no. Seeing as I've only met you on just a moment ago. All right, and then I say, "Oh, what's a uh, high up there, top like you doing over here in the middle of nowhere, anyways?" Is everyone just southern here? Yeah, do we have two, two country people here? No. Two. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you only have two. Oh. Yeah, there's only two of us. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's referring to me, right? Yeah, yeah. He's referring to you. Like, what are you doing here? Actually, uh, not just you. He's also talking about the businessman since he also looks upper class. Uh -huh. Yeah, Simon yeah, just. No, Simon no businessman in here. <laughs> Simon just assumes that you're talking about him. <laughs> oh no! And then, go, go, go. and then he's like, "Well, you see, uh, uh, I'm I was assigned to be like on the case, so that basically means I'm in charge of this whole shebang. So you guys better oh, like, no. like you know, follow my instructions. So you see here, I have a strategy, and then he opens his notebook and shows it to you." But you just you guys just see a grocery list of like <laughs> like buy strategy buy 12, 12 dozen carrots and uh, yeah. and that then he's like oh head. <laughs> <laughs> he says hey does this look like a shopping list or is this a harvest list what do you mean it could be a cipher what what oh. Ah, uh, yes, it is a cipher, and he opens another page, and then it's <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very uh, good eyes there. Uh, you're the the professor, the prof the linguist professor, yeah. Mm -hmm. You you teach over at the the university down like downtown. Yep, that's my business here. That's pretty cool. Uh. So you probably like speak speak a lot of languages, right? Like like two or three. He starts <laughs> switching between the eight languages. No. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then Simon is just like, I don't know if he's like, I I really can't tell if he's making this up because, like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, hey. Ben Homer says, Nah, come on, you don't know that many languages. <laughs> Try me. Oh. <laughs> vendetta, like vendetta like talks stuff. to talks to Fira in Abyssal. He yep. he takes the rim of his hat and he swipes it and it starts the edge starts glowing red and then he looks at Vendetta and then he nods, responding in common. Wait, hey. actually, comprehend languages. I'm, I'm a yeah, you can you can understand it, but you just can't speak it. You can't. Yeah, yeah that's tongues. Ah, ah, okay. Well. Immortal has its limits, but for now, I can speak right efficiently, proficiently, in eight. Ooh. Wow. He's gonna learn in all these languages if he can't speak it. Oh, <laughs> shit. I, I, I don't get the point. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll learn what the point is. No, no, yeah, yeah. It's, pages. It's, it's very useful, because like, in my line of work, I deal with a lot of, like clues left behind and uh, it becomes problematic if the clues are written in a language that you don't understand so uh transfera over here uh they're pro they're very used they have a very useful skill he gets it all right wow. mr mr bunny sir the name softail <laughs> simon softail no i have no clue what you just said so i'm just gonna sit here and be quiet Oh, I, can't. I can't understand. What I don't know what accent that is, but I don't understand it. So I'm just gonna leave you be. What's do whatever you want, but leave me out of it. I can't understand you. I'm sorry. I'm speaking in common. I <laughs> talk to Homer. I'm speaking in common. Like, what do you mean accent? This is a normal accent. <laughs> uh, what What did he just say? <laughs> and I just say to Simon. Well, the thing is, Simon, uh, you have a lisp and it's really hard to understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, would you expect that? And and then... Maybe if you enunciate your words properly, boy, yeah, maybe, maybe that could help. Simon then looks at his paper and he's like, no, it's not a lisp. It's it's a strategy. I didn't write a list. The the one earlier was a cipher, like what Transafira say. It's not oh, a list. No. <laughs> Transfera's just gonna gonna look the opposite way. He's gonna bend himself. I mean, it's a good thing we have a linguist here because I feel like there's a lot of miscommunication going on. Yeah. Would you like to teach? Would you like me to teach you if if need be? Sure, I guess whatever. If it's free, then I'll take it. Oh, no. Not to worry. Not to worry. I won't. I won't tell my boss if you won't. Hey. Okay, sure. It's we got a deal. We got a deal. Period. Well, these city folks sure have changed over the years. 
What Did about you over there, businessman looking fella? I was just wondering why you guys are making fun of the bunny with the lift. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's got a lift also! Kind of feels jaw is gonna be gonna drop for a minute and then he just he's gonna fan himself. Uh, uh, no, businessman is never threatening, he's always just smiling. Oh no. <laughs> no he's this, one... this photo's a scam, he's not he's not serious, he's actually always smiling. He yeah, he's smiles all the time, yeah. <laughs> he's more so appalled, he's like, oh He's a resting happy face. <laughs> yeah. Happy face. Uh, I say, well, it's good to see you. someone smiling every now and then. <laughs> oh my god. It's <laughs> ridiculous. I, I can't take anyone seriously. <laughs> I can't take you seriously. <laughs> but... This is a funny part as well. Like, Guelph Vendetta is, like, you know, exasperated. On the th She can only see this, but she sees, like, a dark figure just, like, over her shoulder and like like uh vendetta like vala pops up from behind your eyesight and like looks stares at you Mara, it's a bit of a jump scare ish scene you know like when yeah, he pops yeah. out of your vision and yeah. then he acts just like oh my god what the fuck are these people <laughs> Uh, I was like, I was like, my thoughts exactly. What the hell was Uncle Nikolai thinking? What the <laughs> fuck? Who? I wanna ask something. Is she saying that out loud? Or... No, no, no. That... She's using in it mentally. Head. Yeah, okay. mm. and it sounds like me every new school year in high school. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're new classmates. <laughs> yeah. What, who the fuck are these people? Honestly, but you know. But never saying those things, but you can clearly see in her face that, you know, she's rolling her eyes and she's feel like she's looking really like exasperated, annoyed and just in utter disbelief as to what kind of group this is. And I tell Valak, I doubt we will get this job done. Honestly. <laughs> oh, what is her can, I, can I be observant and be like? Oh, you yeah, a, you seem like you have a problem with us, though. with how you, how you look. <laughs> <laughs> you mind uh, opening up? Right? <laughs> yeah, are you alright there, Missy? You seem like you're getting annoyed. Do you find us annoying? Um... I suggest you be, you know, polite with them. Maybe they do have some use. Mm. Peace, bro. And then he just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, uh, I am just, uh, I, I'm just uh, really interested in you people. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to, to meet what with you, you guys. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> yeah, is, there's a you people suddenly. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, not I, having this. I immediately look at. Glad that Uncle Nikolai helped me over here. What the hell? <laughs> and then Nikolai tries to smooth out. Say, what she's trying to say is, um, what she's trying to say is she she doesn't she tends not to work with uh, people who are not bounty hunters. That's what she meant with you people, you know. So it's a bit of a shuffer as well. She tends to work alone, so. It's a bit of a culture shock for for uh for my niece over here, so you'll have to excuse her. Well, you have I... one there. The only bounty I hunt is nature's bounty. Oh, exactly. Girl, that's I agree. I agree. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Girl, like, but, now... but also, like, she Torka doesn't believe anything Nikolai says, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Then Neta will make an an oop face, <laughs> and then I will say, and then I will say, you know, we're going to might have might we will kill some people eventually on this job, right? Okay, and oh, that's great. No problem then. I just oh. say, well, whatever people we end up killing, they'll just be fertilizer for the soil anyway. <laughs> Damn, my soul! Why does Homer make everything wholesome? I am, I am going I am going to gander a guess that you are obviously not a city folk with how you're speaking. What are you doing here? Are you talking to me? Homer. Oh. I say, uh, well, let's just say that this is where nature brought me. 
<laughs> this is hopeless. He he, he then he then looks at Vendetta, uh, Vendetta, and then he just stares for a minute. He he closes he closes the fan, and then Vendetta can only hear Chafira through his, through her head. Ooh. Don't worry, don't worry about don't worry about crossing any borders. Whatever, I mean, it would be wise to give people a first chance. Would be too harsh to judge them immediately. Mm. And then Vendetta will respond, Are you in my head right now? Mm-hmm. But we're speaking in, in Abyssal, huh? And then, and then Vendetta will uh, say out loud, get out of my head but i think i think that it's in my head only but i accidentally say it out loud but mm. i'm like ni blow up but like get out of my head like that oh no are you okay like someone picked off the lady are you being possessed right now do we need to call the priest <laughs> we need a bible and <laughs> i and i catch myself and i'm like oh i sorry i thought I thought you were someone else. Sorry, uh, Fira. Yeah, um, yeah. I guess we'll see how everyone goes with this job. <laughs> so, do me. you still do you still need the Bible or something? Do you need some water? Are you okay? Honey, I need God. If you're if you're very amused, especially at Homer and. <laughs> Miss Ma'am, Miss Ma'am, White Cat over here. <laughs> um, she's he's just gonna he's just gonna smile at Vendetta and and nod. Yeah, yeah. It seems like while trying to fear while fear was in my head, uh, would Valak know that that trying to fear was in my head? Valak uh, sensed that uh, trying to fear is presence, but trying to fear does not sense Valak actually. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Okay. Mm. Okay. And then Nikolai, he explains to you guys. So before before we forget, we will be gathering all the items and evidence in this bag of holding that the emperor gave us. So he get, puts out a bag of holding that looks like uh, like a fancy. Uh, it's a nice bag. It's like it's not those backpacks thing. It's like a sling bag. Nice. A stylish sling bag, and he tells. The emperor has given this bag of holding to us as, uh, you know, um, what is the word? Uh, a deposit? A deposit? A, uh, yeah, uh, a repository. A repository, yeah, for, for our services. That, that's the word. So we will... Yeah, respiratory. The suppository, yeah. Yeah, suppo and supposedly... <laughs> So, yeah, what as a down a payment, a down payment for our <laughs> okay. services. This bag of holding—that's the word I was looking for. Ah, uh, okay. Not okay. a depository, a down payment. A down yeah. payment. Uh, how do you confuse the depository and down payment? Oh no! Uh, <clears throat> I thought you, you know, were a businessman. I'm sorry. I am not a businessman. I am. I am a. Um, well, he's, he is. I mean, he is. He's a man of business. He's a man of business. Yeah. I'm a man of business and a man of mystery. So, <laughs> so what does yeah. He, um, what does that make him? Points to businessman. <laughs> no, he's Please a businessman. He is the businessman. He, so that's yeah. the difference. Anyway, anyway. We will, we're putting everything here in the bag of holding, and um. Let's see, who should hold on to this? Simon, since you will be the one who would recognize the evidences right away, I suppose you can hold on to it for now. Yes. Um, right. are you sure? Uh, how, you how, hold it? how sure are you, uncle, that this man can uh -huh. be trusted? Simon. Actually, he's not a man, he's yeah. a rabbit man. Simon, Simon looks offended. <laughs> Did you just did you just assume my race? <laughs> oh my god! No, 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 my Fine. dear. We, we we will you know he's employed by the emperor. Why would he double cross us? He he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't yeah. do that. Won't you, Simon? I would not. He, he, uh, you better not. The emperor yeah. himself, Emperor Ronin, entrusted me 
to be the, the eyes and ears as he wiggles his ears of this operation. <laughs> So it makes sense that I will also be the hands, but in my case, the paws. Would you like to be the other mind then? He con- he he connects Fira, uh, Fira to him, because I can do that. I have I can connect to two people. Hey. Oh my god! <laughs> you, and so, that's gonna go on for five hours. <clears throat> and then Simon is just like in his head. Hello. Is this thing on? Yes, it works. Yes, it works. Yes, it works. Can I hear this? Yeah. Uh, it's a three-way call. No, uh, yeah, it's a three-way. Like you can't no. hear Simon and Trandafir's conversation. Only yours and Trandafira. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah so Trandafira has to like pass the message. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure, I'll pass it to Vendetta if you want. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, please no. Uh, he's, he's not he's gonna he's not gonna do that he's just gonna be like yes simon yes i can hear you great 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 good nice this is really cool just stay within a mile from me then we'll be good <laughs> cool one mile uh how, how many is that in like meters <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i will i will seek it more over to tj because i'm being creeped out by this simon I, I i would notice that they already have a connection because yeah simon, simon is not is hiding so... it at all like his face yeah. is like really like showing it that like, he's everyone like... else just thinks simon and chandafir are having like a staring contest <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, oh, like, what the hell's therapy? <laughs> You're so gonna use like, his mouth. Uh, are, they, are they having a stirring contest? Or is this how we're passing the time now? Whisper goes a bit of, hey, you wanna place a bet? Whoever blinks first. Fear's <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gonna shake his head. Oh, you should probably use your mouth for now. We're not on a job. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. No, we were telepathically communicating. <laughs> then I'm like, well, I'll be. People speaking to each other's minds and all that nonsense <laughs> nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Have you... City, <laughs> City folk. <laughs> and then uh, that's when the carriage goes to a close. And the skeleton driver um, knocks at your uh, at your window and tells you guys that you know, like you're on your destination. So Nikolai gives the gives money to the skeleton driver and drives away. And you guys are in this abandoned construction area, and uh, you guys enter this abandoned building. Uh, there are a few construction sites nearby the building where you see skeletons just like carrying, you know, uh, concrete, wheeling stuff, but they, they don't pay mind to you. So in this, uh, inside this building, there is, uh, there is, uh, there's a manhole there and, uh, Nikolai explains, all right, all right, guys, uh, here is one of the, uh, once we enter here, we'll be in the sewer system, and you just need to follow the map. You'll be able to find a hidden back door uh, where you can get inside the lab without no, uh, any of the guards noticing. Uh, based on the intel from from Persephone and Riker, those uh, those the back door has a mechanic that requires lock picking two two people to lock pick the locks at the same time. So I trust. We have enough people to get that done. Whatever w- happens next. Oh, yeah, go on. I wake TJ up. TJ. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's your cue. Hey. Press and shine, sleeping beauty. <laughs> so, so, yes, you, whoever is good at luck making, you do that. And uh, what comes after, I'm not sure, but I'm sure you guys will be able to get it. Okay? I, so, I do you have any everyone... questions? I tell everyone, mm-hmm. wait 10 minutes, and then he's basically ritual casting the tech magic to see if there's okay. any arcane traps. Ooh, uh, right, right now, Homer, uh, when you, once you activate the tech magic, 
you sense a few you don't really sense like immediate magic on the manhole itself or be, or any on the space behind it within your range you don't sense anything occasionally you'll get a few pings because a few skeleton workers just like pass by within the range of the spell but other than that uh, nothing much yeah all right okay, okay. i report that to the party all right uh so you open up the manhole you guys enter the sewer system the sewer is uh, there is uh there's like a pit. there's uh thankfully it's not knee deep the water it's just like shoe deep and so far there has been uh it, there's a bit of rain from the past few days so it's just flood water there's so far it's just like flood water and a few trash that's on the within the sewer waters and you guys walk uh into a few tunnels you notice a few criminals passing by too but you know they don't pay mind like the, the sewer system is kind of also like a place where criminals would like traverse the city but you guys are you know unless you have business you don't really mind each other and you reach the Oh, okay, the water is shoot. Yeah, yeah, the water is shoot deep, and uh, you reach the place where this back door is hidden. The back door looks like uh, like a um, a metal door, and you see a few. Um, the locks have these like gears that uh that spin around and are like keeping the doors locked. So. Let's see here. That's how uh, Nikolai described it. Uh, two people must be able to uh, lockpick this at the same time. So that uh, that'll be yeah. <clears throat> that'll be Tej and Shorka. All right, Shorka, you can. We? Yeah, you can so, use your lockpicking. Both of you. Alrighty then, if you say so. What role is that, DM? Uh, I would like you guys to do a sleight of hand check with uh, your thieves, though. So just, just do sleight of hand, please. Okay. okay. Exclamation mark C space sleight. Sleight of hand. Sleight should do it, no? Go. 25 for Sorka. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. And Tige. Submission the first roll. Command. What's up, command? Oh. Slide. Like this, bro. Let's see. Like that without the apostrophe. Without the quotation mark. Uh, quotation oh, mark. Oh, no. Bro. Oh. Ooh. That's Ooh. a plus two. Yes, plus, plus two. Five. Five. Plus five. Ah, oh, okay. Two plus five. Oh. Right now, uh, Sorka, you're able to lockpick it, but for Tej, like, there was some problems with the Steve though, so the Gears was able to, like, knock it back. You guys can try it again. Maybe you can help each other this time. Yeah. I think yeah. TJ just needs some, Tej just needs some coffee, you know? He's been sleeping a lot. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So should so, he roll, should he roll again? Uh, yeah, you guys can roll again, but you have to do it at the same time. So, someone can else can help Sim him maybe, or Simon. Can... Simon will was paying attention and then saw what Sorka did. And so, Simon is like, Tej, maybe you adjust your like switch your tools to something that what Sorka is using, and then you position it. And so, uh, Simon's helping them. Nice. So, we both okay. roll now again. Uh, With you can advanced. only help one person at a time, so I am helping just roll Teach. on your own. Yeah. Teach can roll with advantage. Uh. Nice. Mm. Nice, <laughs> nice. So, uh, let's see. You guys try to do it again. And when you guys lockpick it, the gears start to, they stop turning and you hear a clicking sound and you guys are able to lock, pick the door. So you guys are able to uh, open the doors. And right now, 
Uh, you try to open the door, but it's a bit strong. So you guys might want to do a strength check for this to pull the door open. <laughs> Let's hey. go. You guys can help each other or, you know. I, m- I misspelled One. Yeah, just press one. Press one in there. And then enter. Oh. Just one enter? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Oh no! <laughs> oh, our, 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 our skills lie yeah. in in a in in a in a different uh you know yeah, yeah, we're not yeah. very strong. Good strong job, people. good job. Yeah. Maybe oh, yeah, maybe uh Chand, Fira and uh Homer, you look like you lift a bit. <laughs> Them. <laughs> uh, All right, I'll try well, it. I just do a bit of farming, but sure. But the soap. Yeah. It's... Um. So I'll unfortunately lose concentration on detect magic. Uh, detect magic. Oh and really? I'm gonna cast guidance no, it's okay. on myself. Okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. No, ah, okay. I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. It's cool. The... Uh, all right. And then we're doing a strength check. Yes, mm-hmm. a strength check. And then if any of you are proficient with athletics, maybe you know help each other or something so yeah i'm not proficient in athletic this athletic okay. this time so he's just gonna just sit there stand there he's looking pretty <laughs> yeah simon's just gonna gonna cheer in the background you got these guys i'm proficient okay. in acrobatic does that help <laughs> not no. really acrobatic you're not necessarily <laughs> dodging anything you do a backflip uh, hey athletics Ooh, 18 18 Okay, so with Homer, he's able to do a strength check and he's able to wrench the door open. And I'm using my old man strength. Yeah, you you manage to open the the one door, but that's enough. You guys can like squeeze in and <laughs> get inside the secret lab. Cool. cool. And mm-hmm. that was so now, hard. And now you guys are inside the lab. And I will take this time to call on a break for everyone. You can do a pee break, a water break. Yeah, I'm still not I here. The map. Yeah. I think. I, I think. think. My dinner just yeah. Too. Lincoln has to eat dinner. Yeah. All right. Are we changing what map? about the rest of you guys? Probably eating dinner and sorting out my notes because okay. it's a mess right now. Yeah. I'm changing yeah. the map now. So. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Map change. Oh. Map, map change. change. Oh, map hell change. yeah. So, okay, if, okay, if they submit to TJ for a bit, we need to get uh, water and stuff. So, okay, so, Go, okay, guys. So, right. Laters, everybody. Oh, oh my yeah, god, cool. sewers. Sewers. Like, ew. ew. <laughs> ew. Charot. No, the, Ew, this, like this you. is you're in the laboratory now, so this is like lab, but it's all white. I just couldn't find a white lab for some sige, reason. Sige, sige. Yeah. The way yes. I would do it is uh, Kuan, I would just I would have just like changed the colors through the Kuan. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, this is what I could find, so I was like, oof. Sige lang. Sige lang. We will imagine it is white. Yeah. Yeah, I got more than enough. Yeah, I need a bit of way. Okay, uh, let me. Huh? The businessman is off doing business. Yeah, no, what I'm gonna do is like, uh, Vigil's gonna off, I mean, businessman's gonna offer to be a lookout, and if there are any guards in the entrance, hidden entrance, he'll fight them, so. Cool. So you see part? Yeah. Yeah. So, shall we continue? Uh, Mika, TJ, are you guys good too? Yes. Okay. Not a mute, ka, TJ. Okay. All right, guys, let's go. I will put you guys, I'll put your tokens down here. You guys are at the top part of the map. You guys are at the map, right? Do you see the map? Yes. Okay, yeah, you're yes, on the left. Sir. You're in this, yeah. I'm sure you saw you, yeah. Uh, okay. Is this everyone? One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Yeah. And uh, businessman is outside checking, making sure no one's interrupting. 
businessman is doing businessman thing. Yeah, he is being the lookout. So uh now now that we're inside, I want to make it a point that this uh this laboratory is actually white in color. It was just so hard for me to find a white laboratory map that also wasn't didn't look too modern. So so please use your imagination oh, good. <laughs> and pretend it's white. And then it is white. So this is a very it's a very like aesthetically clean lab and the lab is uh, it has very much like steampunk aesthetic. Yeah. And for some of you, uh, especially for Simon and Trandafira, like you guys have a bit of uh, higher education, so you guys recognize that this is quite typical in like the Gosolteo Empire. Like, the the empire has a bit of like a steampunk aesthetic to their country. So yeah, yeah this lab is just like straight out of the empire and. Right now, you are in this area, and uh, let's see. Look, at, I'm looking at my notes, and let's see here. The floor is uh, clean, but you also notice there are a few. Um, there's like water dripping from the ceiling, but you see like buckets being placed over the floor to catch them. The hallways are ten feet. The hallways are all in all like 10 feet uh, wide, like both length and width. Mm. But when you enter like a room area, like a square area or a rectangle in a part of the map, those those rooms are like 15 feet tall up to the ceiling. Mm. So uh, before you, uh, yeah, you can explore the place. But I want you guys... To roll for stealth checks first to remain undetected, please. Oh, the first Great. stealth roll. <clears throat> yeah. Oh no. Did that okay. appear in Simon? Uh, before Simon. everyone um, rolls, can I do uh, pass without traits? Yeah. Yeah, you can. You nice. have time. <clears throat> okay. Nice. And as well, I noticed that we're trying to be stealthy. I tell everyone, all right, hold up, everybody. Let me just get the us ready for this and then i basically um i have a staff that i'm holding and then i hit the staff onto the ground and as i do i say moonlight and shadows hide the predators that hunt hey. and uh yeah after that all of us will get plus 10 to strength to stealth checks and i'm concentrating right now as well hey. nice Simon is like, okay. oh, Simon's a predator. Yeah. <laughs> and then, okay. <clears throat> and then I just say, wait a minute. Bunnies are prey, though. <laughs> Vendetta, One, uh, Fira's gonna look at Vendetta and then Simon. You may use this, you may use this to speak. He is through a telepathy. Nice. Be as quiet as uh, possible. Plus ten, no. Yeah, plus ten. So, um, Mika, your character is wearing scale mail, no? Or is he wearing studded oh, leather? Which I armor was it? I have to do that also, cause scale mail. Yeah. Gives me. I think Vendetta <laughs> is wearing studded though. Oh. Vendetta okay. is. Oh, Vendetta is wearing scale mail. <laughs> That's no, weird. Yeah. It didn't guys... add 10. I think I would had to remove the plus there. I'll test it out, but basically my total is... Oh no wait, 13 is correct there. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay. I'll do mine again. Oh, this is so bad. I rolled natural one, yeah. I rolled natural one. Disadvantage, man. Wow, you rolled natural one, okay. <laughs> Dust Bunny's okay. lowest score is 21. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, collectively as a group, you were able to start successfully, but oh, since teach. Homer rolled a one, he accidentally like knocked over one of the buckets. But so far, no, no one seems to notice uh, you guys stealthing around. Now, beforehand, uh, do you guys want to do some other roles while you explore the place? Uh, 15 high rooms, I see. What is this over here? 
Uh, over here in this area, this is a, a locked door. However, you don't see any locks to pick on it. So it seems like the lock is from the inside, from the other side. So mm -hmm. yeah, not a valuable route to go through. Oh, I just forgot. I also have an owl, so I have to make that also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, her owl stat, so I'm just gonna roll d20 plus 10. Can I go here? Uh, my yeah, owl you can go here. Two? Oh my gosh. So awful. <laughs> What's you this find bomb? This bomb, uh, you just see a, a bit of like janitor supply closet. It's like a supply closet, so you see a few janitor's stuff there. Mm -hmm. well, where are there yeah. like planks here? Uh, those planks, ignore the planks. Those do not exist in story. This is there's, there's this no is the map I found. Yeah. There's no water. So the, 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 the place is actually less like a sewer and more like a white lab. Like a hospital, mm -hmm. like oh, okay. hospital corridors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's okay. over here? Uh, you notice that? That one is... Hmm. You can do an investigation check if you like. Okay. Simon will have a look see. Ooh, yeah. Ooh 14. 19. Okay. As you look at that, you notice that it's not exact it's not exactly like an object that ex like it's chosen the map. It's more of like scribblings, like mm -hmm. an a symbol. And you notice the symbol has uh the symbol has the has a uh, how do I describe it? It's a circle, and around that circle there are like ten eyes designs surrounding the circle. Mm -hmm. And in the center of it is like a a, a crown, a symbol of a crown. Mm -hmm. So so you notice it's probably like a symbol for whatever this group is. Okay. I call and... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I call Jennifer. Hey Professor, you might want to check this out. He walks over and then he inspects it. Uh as far as I know, that's not a language. That's more so a identity of sort. Yeah. But like yes. a like a like family yeah. seal or something. Like a logo. Family seal. Like oh, a yeah. logo? Based, based on uh, Simon's investigation role, it would you would deduce that this is probably like a crime organization symbol or something. Mm. It's a mm. it's a crime organization's logo. All right. Yeah. Does anyone recognize this? Can I roll history for that? Um. Yeah, yeah, try to roll history. I see, see, see. Uh, I think it was uh, helping, helping Trandafira. Okay, oh, I can't because okay. I don't have proficiency in history. Never mind. Okay. Uh, yeah. You vaguely remember. Mm. Uh, uh, you you have no. Uh, you have trouble remembering like what sort of crime organization this is. I'm based expending. On... I'm expending yeah. a psionic energy die. Ooh. Okay, go. Ooh, what did that do? I can add it to my to my roll to probably make it a six. Nope. Gago ka. Oh. That's a seven. <sighs> Where did you roll? <laughs> I rolled. Oh, it didn't come out. Oh. Okay. A seven. Wait, wait, you rolled a one. Yeah, I rolled a one. Oof. Uh, where, where is where's the roll? I get, I placed it in D and D Beyond. I'm gonna roll again. How do you do uh, use it? But no, 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 Siggy. I will link Sins and Skullduggery into. Yeah, we have to link the campaign, I believe. Yeah. Uh, campaign. Okay. okay. Yeah. Only Wayne can do that because we're not the DM. What uh, do yeah. do? I try it again. Try it again, please. Siggy. Did that work? 
Yeah, there we go. sir. Uh, Four. Ten. Okay. Ten total. Yeah, that's a ten total now. Okay, uh... You vaguely remember there is a crime organization that came to Skullduggery Island. You vaguely remember it's called the Crown Cartel. Ooh. It's called the Crown Cartel. Yeah. Crown Cartel. Writing notes. Same. I'm see Sorka. She thinks out loud. <clears throat> Might this crown have anything to do with the Emperor? I mean, he is kind of our king after all. Uh, what? I mean, Emperor Ronan. I don't think he'd ask us to snoop into his own territory. That doesn't sound right. Yeah. Eh, I know, but I don't know. It's just mighty suspicious. No, oh, you guys weren't so paying attention. The the emperor suspects that some of his own subjects are conspiring against him. This is this is uh their his subjects his laboratory. A coup the tar again. Uh, right, right. It's but true. now I'm wondering if this symbol I'm I'm sorry, sir. Now I'm wondering if this symbol over here represents them or if another group, this crown cartel, arrived here before us and raided the place or something. Right, you make a good point, Bunny. Well, only one way to find out. You have to venture deeper, right? Dude. That being said, let's proceed. So you guys are not gonna do any like roles specifically to check for anything while you travel. I just we, wanna no. Like, we will check for know. traps. Yeah. Check for traps. Yes. Nice. Let me just let me just go back. Nice. <laughs> let me just back it up real quick. <laughs> rewind. Rewind. Check what for traps. What would that be? Uh, okay. Check for traps. Stealth. Uh, you could do perception or investigation, whichever. Perception, it is. I'll do perception. Fourteen. And uh, just uh, oh. just a freebie here. Ronin did warn you that if this looks like anything from our empire, there might be arcane traps too. <laughs> Did you like, just hear that? I love yeah. it. The DM is it's like, like, okay. it's, it's like in Pokemon when you try to like, uh, wait, uh like mount your bicycle indoors. Uh, yeah, there's the a time and a place. Said. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the first session, so I'm giving you guys a freebie here. Okay. <laughs> How to check for like, ma magic traps? I think Arcana checks. Oh, Arcana? I'm not good yeah. with Arcana. Well, okay, I guess I can do it. I'll change my role, I guess. Arc. Yeah, guys, you know, use your individual to conquer this mission. Jesus. Yeah. Alright. Nice. You guys notice a few trip wires being placed around the around the hallway as you walk through and you also notice a few uh, mechanical traps too uh for homer you noticed a few arcane sigils being scribbled onto the walls as well a few of them look like glyphs of wording and stuff but you guys are able to avoid them no problem All right. so uh yeah you guys can keep walking until uh I'll disarm until this, this area point. Zoom. Okay. okay I'm there. Zoom. <laughs> Let's disarm them. We can. Disarm <laughs> them. I mean, yeah. that's the rogue's jobs. I can't do that. Me, I can. I can disarm yeah, them. Yeah. I can disarm the mechanical traps, not the wording yeah. ones. Yeah, you can do a sleight of hand with your uh, thieves to so disarm the traps if you'd like. Okay, I will roll it. Uh, what? What? What in the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> I keep not so bad. Those were like simple traps. I, I keep forgetting Trandafir is a rogue. <laughs> hey, oh. I've been rolling 20s. Let's go. Nice! Oh my god, okay. Sarka, you rolled quite high, so you're able to disarm not just one trap, but several mechanical traps and practical hey. ones. That's so cool. yeah, 
you okay. reach this area and you notice actually in this area there are a few uh a few tables here it's just not shown but there are a few tables here with a few um journals and a few scrolls here actually oh i go towards it yeah all right wait, wait, wait which area was it here, uh, here. Just, just here just here, here just here yeah okay he's gonna um, take a peek open the journals take the scrolls what are these okay what are those so you open you open the uh the journals and you look at it and you are quite impressed because whoever wrote these journals they are very meticulous about being preventing themselves from being caught because the journals are written in different languages that alternate every sentence to throw off anyone who tries to read it Ooh. so simon tells Shandafira. Simon, Simon tells Trendafira, so you got uh, eight languages, right? And more. I don't need to speak all of them. He just swipes his hat and it just turns on the helm of Comprehend Languages and it's, he reads. Oh, excellent. Yeah. So you're able to read uh, some of it and I'll just, uh, I'll just narrate it to you. So these, uh, these are... I, I won't narrate it. I'll explain it. Sorry. Uh, these journals, as you read through it, you're able to comprehend all of them. You notice that these are notes by a Dr. Trench. And um, the journals dictate these experiments, experiments on uh, these shape-shifting creatures. And you notice there are a few drawings there showing um, images of these creatures. And you don't recognize them, but maybe, maybe a history or an arcana check will confirm it for you. It's... But yeah, it's implied that these are shape shifting creatures. And no. the... mm -hmm. I'll the try ex... history later. Okay. The experiments also conclude that, like, uh, experimenting on these creatures to create. And it's all about transferring the shape shifting qualities of these creatures into other. Uh, humanoid beings basically replicating their shape-shifting powers and giving it to other people or to just one person specifically. That's what you can tell from the latest journal entries at least. Hmm. Yeah. They're, they're toying with they're toying with shapeshifters. Planning on taking the ability and placing it in others. Shapeshifters? Shapeshifters? Well, you mean like like changing? Is that from chain the changelings, yeah. It, uh, kind it of. Does, they don't look like. They, do they look like changelings? They. In a way, they look like changelings. But if you do an arcana check or a history check, I can tell you more. But they do kind of look like changelings to you. Yeah. That's, oh, no. that's a no. That yeah, they kind of no. look like changelings to you based on the illustrations by Dr. Trench. They look like it. Oh no, something's fishy going on in here. I don't like it. What are they what are they doing with these? And then he just passes the, the he closes the journal, passes it to uh to Simon, and then he tells them through telepathy, I'll need to copy those things for later just in case. Alright. Keep yeah. it in the keep it in the bag. Yeah, puts it in the bag of holding. The yeah, satchel. There we go. The satchel of holding. The satchel, the 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 sling bag of holding, the the know? messenger bag of holding. <laughs> there we go. The bag of holding, <laughs> the the clutch of the Versace the clutch. clutch of holding. <laughs> no, it's not a clutch. It's a handbag. <laughs> okay. It's a mukas clutch. <laughs> oh, very light show, huh? The emperor's like, here's a clutch, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, he, he uh, just happens to have like a clutch collection. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys can continue onwards if you'd like. Checking for yeah. traps. Yep. Yeah, while well, checking right. for traps. This army Very trap. good. Very good. Uh, okay, one can do investigation or perception. One can do sleight of hand to disarm them. And one can do arcana for. I guess I'll do magic Arcana once again. Yeah. You know, teamwork makes the dream work, guys. I I designed this place specifically to make sure all Ooh. of you, you know, 
Oh, Every, let's see. Everything looks fine for me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> everything looks fine for me. Why am I rolling so... Oh, wait, I did roll pretty good before, but... Okay, Dusk, Bunny, and Vendetta, you guys were able to cover for, I know, uh, for the others who were unable to find the mechanical traps. <laughs> Uh, yeah. for for Homer, you don't seem to find any mystic traps so far, so it seems like you're in the clear. Okay. okay. It sounds good, sounds good. So Ooh, what room thing. are you guys going in? Um, are we- are the rooms in option are the ones that are covered? The- the fog- the red one, you cannot cross through it because the lock is from the other side. Okay. And- and you try to put your ear through the door, you can't hear anything. So it's implied that this door is very thick and very heavy for Got someone it. to pass through. This one, north. Oh. Uh. This one, let me unfog this. Unfog it. I just heard my... Yeah. Let's see. Let me unfog it. Do you to the room open? Unfog it, DM. Uh, this other room, it's, uh, it's a janitor's closet. Ah, okay. Another... We can loot Surprise. mops. Surprise! Okay, what's, what's... Okay. Cleaning supplies. In this area, actually, I didn't uh, put, like, stuff there. But you see a few disposed corpses there. Oh, <gasps> shit. Oh. Uh... oh. <laughs> uh, just you see to... around... You see around, like, <laughs> three of them. And uh, they're... those corpses are... Uh, naked and they are having these really pale white skin but in the middle of some of their body parts they look like mid transformation because some of their flesh is white but then there are some like their hands are like golden uh, tone and you see one of them also had like red hair but like white skin and and uh yeah that's that's what you find yeah can I investigate the corpses? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, roll for investigation, please. Yeah, I'll investigate. I'll also try. I will perceive. Okay. Friend of well, your oh dad's. my god, Inda is rolling. Bam. Ridiculous. So good. Dude, Why are you rolling? Three twenties in a row. Inda, three twenties in a row. She's hacking. She's hacking. Save it. Jesus. Save it for the combat encounter. <laughs> How do you hack in D and D? That's, that's that's my Dang. question. How do you hack Discord? <laughs> okay. Uh, you all come up with this conclusion, but Sorka, this hits her quick, uh, faster because of her role. Sorka, you realize that these corpses. They were mid trans. They see it. Seem, not only are they dead, but it seems like their bodies are like mid transformation, and it looks like Emperor Ronin mid transformation. Oh, they do look like the king with the red hair and everything. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. So I tell them, don't, don't, don't these people look kind of like Emperor Ronin with the red hair and the gold skin? It seems that, that does, these people that here familiar. wanted to usurp the emperor and have a. A dummy emperor and pull pull on the the like the puppet strings from behind the scenes. That's my guess. Now we just need the who, or we need more. Hmm. Yeah. So the crown and then mm. the dust bunny is this just like narrating. This should suffice as evidence, right? How uh, what? This should suffice as evidence, right? That's yeah. Do you, do you want to put them? On? It. Do you want uh, to put them in the back? Let's bring them. Put them in the back, Holden. I uh, I <laughs> top off the head of the Ronin. Oh the my goodness! Ronin yeah, I do that, and then I put it in the bag. Like this should probably do the job. We yeah. should put like um, maybe a plastic before we put it in the bag, like I a bag. The, what in the hells is a plastic? What's a plastic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, sorry, Is like it... another container before we put you... it in the big container. The corpses were wrapped in plastic bags, so you can ah. use the piece. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> See, the DM and I, we have the same language. We know yeah. what plastic is, guys. Alright. Is plastic a rich people thing? 
What the hell is this material? <laughs> What's this is material? very well familiar to me. <laughs> Slowly but surely, you will all be southern, and I have to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Perfect. You guys have one concrete yeah. evidence, which is which you can present to the emperor, which is just a severed head that looks like his. <laughs> exactly. No but, how we, but now how do we know that the person we talked to was the emperor and not a successful experiment? Exactly. Wow. Well, you can surmise that, you know, as the narrator in DM, you can surmise that surely his own wife and his royal guards would notice if he's different. So Okay. What if they're yeah. all, all right. they're <laughs> all replaced? They're all changely. <laughs> I have I have trust in in the emperor's wife. Let us proceed. Yeah. That's so odd. We've been okay. sent here to our death. No. <laughs> wow. Um before you enter, the door is actually closed, but since you were all stealthy, like um the, no one behind the door notices, but there are some guards here stationed okay and T T uh, tj lost his token <laughs> in the fog no here here I put it back yeah, there. <laughs> so no <laughs> so behind the door you see three guards and they seem to be uh practicing drills with their swords so you know like yeah, you don't. You're not sure. You can wait it out until they stop and leave, or you can assault them. Or assault them. Let's assault, assault them. you. I love that. Shall we assault them, guys? Let's go. Wait, hang on. Hold on. Wait. Assault them. Wait, can we see what the equipment they have? That's a good you, question. You can see they have uh, short swords. They have short swords. Good and question. How many people? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna hide here. Uh, three people, <laughs> three people. I will, I will unfog this actually to me. <laughs> like, why did I fog this? Let's unfog it. Yes. Here. Oh. Yeah. They're invisible. Fuck. <laughs> oh, they are oh, invisible. The are gone. Oh, it seems clear, guys. Let's go. Oh. Ninja one. Diamond. No, no, no. You can go back. Uh, yeah. So you're I'm hiding sure behind what? the door. They haven't noticed you because of your stealth roll. So, so the, as is, a team, what do you guys do? DM, is this a closed door here, or is it? Can they easily this, run? This that is a door? closed door. Hmm. Uh, the door is. The door is. Uh, no, here, here, on this side. Easily. Yeah, yeah. In in this side, yeah, it's a it's an easily open door, you know. So, it, like, if we startle them, they can easily run through and away. Uh, yeah. On the left <clears> side, <throat> okay. Hmm. Let the uh, owl go first, bro. <laughs> what? I... Sacrifice uh, the owl. No. Unlike his previous character, Homer wants to keep this owl alive. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Does the owl have a name? I think. This one? Oh, yeah. More than name more. is Feather. Feather. Okay. Uh, that's a mighty original name. Treasure. <laughs> the, the eight. Uh, I, I think we should wait for them to get bored and leave. I agree. Hmm. Hmm. What, what if, like, someone, someone comes, comes from behind, behind bro? How? I mean, should we, shouldn't we show the king this evidence as soon as possible? No, we still don't know more. who's behind it. It's not enough, yeah. the, the whole crown cartel thing. A Dr. Trench was mentioned. Yeah. Maybe we, we should be nice. these um, guys up. Can I roll for history? The <laughs> Dr. Trench. Yeah, Circa, you can. And Vendetta, when he mentions that, I want you also to roll history oh, no. with advantage, please. History. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> No, your streak. So you know, okay. I, I'm not proficient in history. There you go. Nice. Um, for Vendetta, when Trandafira mentioned the Doctor Trans, Trench, Trans, uh, <laughs> she rem she remembers that Doctor Trench 
as a bounty hunter vendetta you mm -hmm. are well versed in people who are wanted across tyran yeah especially people who are in hiding in skullduggery island it's uh, mm -hmm. part of your job to hunt these people down mm -hmm. uh as your work as a bounty hunter, you become acquainted with a few people, the nasty things they have done, mm -hmm. and the bounties in their heads. Mm -hmm. Dr. Trench is wanted in two continents for yes. human uh, humanoid experimentation. I mean, no. And the bounty on his head is 1,200 GP. Yes. Okay, I will tell... Uh, I will just tell the party that... This doctor is a bad person, and we must have his head. <laughs> and then Valak just like appears again behind him, like, "Yes, let's go kill Doctor Trench and enjoy the money that's on the top of his head." Wait, how much gani <laughs> yung koan niya? We shall. One two. One thousand two hundred. Yeah. But that, but only mm -hmm. Vendetta knows that, and mm -hmm. she doesn't seem to mention that out loud. I haven't yet. Okay. Yeah. So. No fish. It's okay. Proceed. We're criminals. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, We're not, out soon. not Simon, but. <laughs> The, yeah, that's most right. of you. I was really, I was really about to tell you guys, but I was like, wait, oh, are we oh, go, I are we going in, Simon? are we going in are with these guys? In? Are you? Yeah? Yes. Are you no. fighting them or are you waiting for them? We're... What is the plan? Simon wants to wait. wait. If we proceed... Wait. Okay, so yeah. we'll wait. But if we proceed, okay. will we find... Will we go the Kuana? Find the doctor? Uh, DM. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Simon will go over here and then tell the party. Yeah. Guys, just hide over okay. here. And if any of you, like, spellcasters can, like, make a noise over here. Or, like, make it sound like farther into in like hit over there uh maybe the guards are gonna 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 move past us and uh, while you're saying that i say shouldn't we ambush them so that we can interrogate one of them exactly i don't want to risk uh them alarming the rest of the base and we don't know. There might be other exits in this sewer system. Um, we heard from yes. the emperor and from uh, Nikolai that the the whole underground of the city here has this intricate sewer system. There's bound to be other exits. We're in a lab, though, aren't we? Oh, we are in. A, and Simon is yeah. like, "All right, we still don't know if there are other exits." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has a good point. You still don't know if this laboratory has other exits besides the secret back door. Uh, All right, then I... we'll go with your plan. Okay, uh, someone make noise. In that case, I'll make Feather, um, you know, be a distraction. So, uh, is that okay, my dude? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, Oops. And then basically, it's like ooh, ooh, over here. Hey, what the hell is that? That's an owl, you idiot. Oh, what's an owl doing here? Who cares? Maybe it's one of Trench's experiments. Yeah. Well, okay. If they're saying who cares, this one is going to like ruffle its feathers in front of Ninja One. Hey, and go in that get the direction. fuck off me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking, I'm gonna follow that. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> That's funny, eh? Alright. Uh, now he's gone. The, is the room closed? <laughs> yeah, the, the door is closed. The door is closed. Okay, nice. But, so... but you have to be oh, careful because, yeah. like, the, the two other ninjas can see through, you know, the... The window of the door, the small yeah. window of the door. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I say, well, all right. One is separated from the others. Now what? Boy, How do we wanna... get these other two to leave? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, we could break something to lure them out. Yeah. Simon's <laughs> thinking. <laughs> uh, is there... Is there a barrel to break somewhere? I say maybe. maybe we should attack these two. 
Ow. Maybe maybe Tej could create a distraction. He's an arcane trickster said. He can use his invisible mage hands maybe to do something. Yeah, go. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. An arcane trickster. Oh. Mm. What if I like what, can we like throw something in another room? That's yeah, you, just throw it. You can yeah, you use your invisible mage hand to pick up something and then throw it in another room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then the two ninjas will be like, hey, what what is that? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's go check it. We were paid to do this. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so as they approach, I, I want to make sure. Do you want to wait them to walk past you, or will you like attack them as they pass by? What's gonna happen? Wait. Okay. Right. Uh, I want you all to roll stealth, please. Okay. <laughs> we oh, remember. Okay, pass I should not be trace. bad. Pass without trace. Okay. Yeah. That's that's still a thing. See, pass without trace. Stealth. Yeah. yeah. Twenty-five again. Nice. Wait. Boom. There we go. Oh, hey, Whoa. we all rolled no. well. Oh, oh shit. I, nice. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to roll with disadvantage. Hang on. 15. Oh, yeah. Yeah. B. I, 10. Uh, I really... Vendetta and Dust Bunny, you have disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Yes. I, yeah. So I rolled 24 lowest. <laughs> nice. How to do that, do I? This. I just roll again, please. You had like uh, 15. Oh, I can uh, make it easier for those who. It's like. Oh. oh, she minus she B space okay. ten for the yeah, minus ten. B ten like okay. that. It's fine. You all rolled yeah. so high, so they literally walked past by you while you were all silent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like what was that? I would like to um get the last one though. Actually, Holy as sh but, they go, but but they're walking together. You might attract uh, attention. No, no. no. Uh, then never mind. Never mind. Okay. Okay. And then Simon goes out right. here and like right. motions for everyone to go, and then we we'll close this door when when we're all in. Okay. Yeah, when you close the door, there's a lock Simon. on the door yeah, which you can choose to lock. Homer, Homer, uh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, feather, won't bring that... your bring feather back. I say, won't that be alarming for them if the door is closed? It doesn't oh. matter. Uh, it's soundproofed. <laughs> <laughs> That yeah. doesn't this... actually address my concern, but all right. Yeah. Uh, unless okay. they have, unless oh. they have the thing that Trandafira can do when you're like, like, like this. <laughs> Talk, Trandafira. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to force yourself too hard. You're going to shit yourself. <laughs> yeah. So unless they have that thing, with, like what Trandafira does, it's not a problem. And then we close this door and we lock it. <laughs> All right. Yes, uh, sir. What do you wanna? There are two rooms here that you can examine. Do you want to? Both. Yes, please. Uh, okay. And then the top side. I'll be with when <laughs> Miss Miss Mem Vendetta here for now. <laughs> oh, this this area, this one that I'm pointing at. This is just a shortcut to the back to the entrance. Right. Okay. okay. Let's leave unlock it open. It. Let's unlock okay. it. Yeah. I'll pick yeah. lock. I'll pick lock it. Yes. Mm. Uh, you can pick it, lock it easy enough. Leave this yes, one locked then... though. Lock this, leave this one locked. Oh, okay. Because the guards. Oh, that's true. Okay, then... uh, okay, never mind. Let's lock it back. Uh, this area, you notice again, uh, this is just, uh, these are like uh, the quart like the dining area for the for these guards it seems okay and uh you notice uh a few vials are kept there uh um Sorka, you recognize these vials these are three vials of basic poison oh shit Ooh. okay it's in their pantry. <laughs> <laughs> they they use it. They use it as like they use it as like ketchup and soy sauce. Yeah, yeah. they use it as sriracha. What uh, the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Brings a whole new level to spice. I am. Uh, I'm very funny like that. I'm like, yeah, it's in the poison in the dining area. Yeah. <laughs> so can we take them? You can take them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Simon's not interested. Uh, yeah, uh, you guys can move forward if you like. We yeah, will move okay. forward. Move we will, forward. I will move. Checking traps. Oh. See in this area over here. Yeah, checking traps. 
disarming them uh, too. Can you guys uh, do another roll, please, for for the checking of traps the and disarming? The checking of traps. <laughs> the, checking the checking of traps. Uh, not Damn. so good. Damn. Not... Oh no. What this? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. Investigation oh. or um, slice or perception. Not uh, slight. investigation or perception for detecting the traps and, and then sleight of hand to disarm them with thieves tools after we detect them yeah, yeah, yeah after. Ko na, eh. oh there you go oh, Sor yeah. sorka sorka's got it Shit. you got and, it so and then i'll try to disarm them yeah we we oh, did oh what oh, he's been getting natural and dirty 20s what is wrong with you Easy. jesus he's i'm just lucky i'm just lucky <laughs> Sarka is, uh, you know, like, she's the one who notices, you know, but but I'll give credit to the other team. You guys failed to notice it, which caused Sarka to double check on your behalf, so yeah. you're able to find the traps <laughs> and avoid them. Nice. But, uh, like, are, you sure, are you sure about that? Like, like Simon <laughs> is so obs Simon's so obsessed with, like, one particular stair step, then only laser focused <laughs> on that stair step. Here, let's disarm it, Miss Ma'am. Yeah. Oh, what's in here? Nice. That is a lot of stuff. Uh, Gee. this stuff seems to be sleeping quarters for for the guards. There are beds here. There's also a bed here for um, uh, you notice there's uh. A quick glance, Simon, and you notice one of the beds seem to be Doctor Trenches because. There was like a lab coat on that bed. <laughs> I check under so, the pillow if there there's another notebook. Yeah, if there anything. Under the pillow, you notice there is like uh, uh, a, a, another journal. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go. So, Hand it to Trandafira right away. Yeah, we okay. read. Let's go. You look through it. You look through the latest entries, and you notice that. Uh, you notice that this book also has uh, names and details of, of of people that seem to be connected with the Gosalpeo Empire. You notice a few military generals' names there. You notice like a senator's name is written there. Uh, funny enough, you also notice like... Uh, another uh, person's name they're written with their last name being Gosalpeo as well so whoever is a relative to the emperor seems to be in on it as well it seems Shit. and uh yeah that's what's uh what you look through in the journals and then in the latest journal uh you notice it's uh there's an entry there by dr trench it says that subjects 10 and 11 seems to be showing promise on being able to replicate the emperor's appearance. Oh. Uh, he, 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 shares that, he shares that with the party. He's like, so he seems to have made headway with two. Oh, that's horrible. Mm. And the journal entry that seems to have been made like last night. Based okay. On date. Oh, it's new. We must rush. Is so, there a way? Um, yeah. Oh, well, um, Sarka's once again like thinking aloud. So like, like, how many of these people are there, and who were those dead people that we found? Previous it experiments. Says that, it says here that senators are involved. Generals could be anyone within the empire that's closest to Ooh. the emperor. And no. There's no, I even... mean like, how many people have they conducted this on? And if those say 10 and 11, are they alive? It doesn't, it doesn't show here, it, it just say. says names. What language it's, was yeah. that? Was that the Tabaxian language? <laughs> anyway. <Why? laughs> well, well, one thing's for certain. A... Gosil Tail? Was it? That's how you say it? Yeah, yeah. Gosil Tail, yeah. Okay. That, that is the last name of... Of Emperor, Emperor Ronan, Ronan. And as well, yeah. so Ego Soteo is involved in this too. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, um, shall Put we press on? 
put it in the eye. Yeah, everything. Can we go through here, or is that a wall, and we need to move back? Uh, you notice, uh, no, uh, secret, secret steps approaching you, actually. Oh, shit. So, so I want you guys to roll stouts to hide under the beds, and hopefully <laughs> the guards won't notice. Hide uh, under the beds. Okay, oh, I I my owl too. How to do the disadvantage like that long? Like like this, Hold like on. this, like this. Is this, this up? Is it? Does this still ah. have pass without trace? See? Yeah, yeah, it still is. Cause I rolled a one. Excellent. Eleven. Oh, this... One plus seven plus ten. Be Wayne, question Wayne. When when 18. people roll one, when people roll one in their uh skill check checks, that's not like a crit fail, nope. right? Nope. Nope. Okay. You still add okay, the okay. modifiers. Okay, good. Okay. So I'll roll twenty-five. Holy crap! Whoa, that's cool. So that's I will cool. say collectively as a group, you were able to hide. It was a very close call with Trandafira, but you rolled an eighteen, so you're good. <laughs> He's too big. <laughs> my, my heels yeah. got stuck. Shit. <laughs> he, he lies down underneath the, the the bed. <laughs> His legs still I overlap. <laughs> we all hide in one bed. Yeah, like like this guard is passing by, and he turns around for a second, and he asks one of his companions, "Is that a heel I'm seeing?" It's like, "No, you're drunk. Fuck. Let's go continue our job." Who? <laughs> 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 my red bottoms almost got me caught. <laughs> <laughs> well, so all it's right. like a uh, secret can... a secret passageway. Yeah. It's it's uh it's just open. Yeah, it's a secret passageway that the guards just open for yeah. you. Yeah. Great, excellent. Uh -huh. Proceed uh -huh. with while checking for traps. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh god. We do be this is a very oh oh DM oh, DM. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We check for traps. Okay, yes. very good. Very <laughs> good. I, I will I will go disarm <laughs> them as well. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Okay, what did you imagine? Roll? Imagine you guys just strolling your way through this uh, place. If I didn't say like, should you guys check for traps? <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not playing the but... the right character. <laughs> what, what's happening? But you all are still having pass without trace, right? So yeah. Let's see, let me look at your things. 17, 23, 11, 10, 20. Yep, you guys are still good. Nice. Yes. And now, uh, end you notice, uh, you can, you can keep walking actually, you guys are good. These, uh, these are, there, no, there's, not. uh, when you pass through there, it's nothing. It's just like another shortcut. <laughs> like for when... It looks yeah. like a long cut, DM. But that but that's looks longer. True. It's another long cut. It's a very unnecessary part of the architecture. And <laughs> ah, but we never made it. Can you see the yeah. view, viewing room for this area Into here? Into here. Uh, but Whatever oh. this is. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this would be sure. a very useless passageway. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Wait. so where do you want to go? Do you want to go through? Can we go north through here? Here. Uh, let's go north. No, to the north of the screen or the east of the screen? North of let's the screen. The north. 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 Ooh, the north. Okay. Save the biggest for last. Nice. I'll say, save a surprise. I was gonna okay. say, I was like, both of them are big, and then I scrolled out. I was like, oh, okay. It is big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is on. Um, you unclogged an already, altar and shit? so... It's a oh, church? Shit. What? No, it's not an altar. Oh, it's not fuck. an altar, relax. What is? This is... <laughs> Vendetta, this is... Your Bible. <laughs> this is, I uh, know, uh... This is like an... Uh, how do I say this? It's... An operating room, basically. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh. And in this operating room, you see a few. You see this, uh, those two things near the end. The one where you thought it's an altar. That's not really like a pe Those are not church pews. Those are uh, operating tables. Yeah, yeah, operating tables. 
Oh, and I I'd like and to investigate not, this area. Yeah, here. you notice this these, mm -hmm. these, uh, these two individuals, they are, uh, to your shock and surprise, and based on the journals, these two individuals look exactly like Emperor Ronin. Oh, oh 10 and 11 years. Yeah. And, are, they, are they dead? Uh, you you, take, you check a glance and you notice that they're both breathing, but they are unconscious. Oh. Do, um, do y'all do y'all think they chose to be here? I highly no. doubt that. Does that maybe we can help them? These poor creatures, all oh, bless their hearts. <laughs> and then I shake one awake while Feather shakes up the other one awake. Simon guards. I'm gonna keep her distance. She's gonna keep her distance. Okay. Uh, one of them, uh, you you try to shake one awake, but you notice as you try to shake him, you notice like he seems to have a huge cut in his abdomen. Uh oh. oh Just now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, we now just realize he was in the hospital gown. <laughs> ah, okay. In the hospital gown, so okay, you know. Okay. okay. Yeah. Can I attempt to heal him with a cure wound? Sure. Okay. I'll spend one of my spell slots for that, and I don't have my phone right now, so I can't read the incantation. But Sigilan. Okay. That's cure wound. All right. Cure so. Not oh no! Wait. No, sorry, I can't do that. I, it's not prepared today. So I'll cast Good Berry, and then I'll feed Ooh. him one Good Berry so that he heals one aid. Yeah, I miss Good Berry. Yeah. You you shove a Good Berry down the Emperor Ronin lookalike. <laughs> Forcefully. <laughs> Forcefully. Uh, you you take out the berry seed from your pocket, uh, Homer, and using the incantation, the seed rapidly grows into a berry, and yeah, you shove it, you shove it in Ronan's mouth, <laughs> and then Ronan wakes up. He opens his eyes. He wakes up and he looks confused, and he's like, "Where am I right now? I say... What's happening?" I say, you seem to be in some lab, and from the looks of it, looks like the Crown Cartel are involved. Does that name sound familiar to you? Uh, no, I, I, I don't. I just... I'm just a civilian. What's your I name? say to him, what's your name? Hmm. My name is Ronnie. Roni. Roni. Okay. <laughs> and then, do you recognize that fellow over there on the other table? Oh, that one was. That's that's my brother. Uh, that's. Wait, no, that's not. That's Emperor Ronin, right? No. And you look the like emperor, him The emperor is in his uh, palace. I think it's better to explain if I make this other guy wake up, and then I feed him a good berry. Mm. He wakes. He wakes up as well, confused. And then he looks at Ronnie, and he and he asks, "Is that you, Emperor Ronin?" No, that's your brother, Roni. What's your name? What? No. Uh, my name is. Uh. My name is Ron. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ronnie, Ron, um, we're here to investigate a certain thing for the Emperor, and you are not, you don't look like yourselves, essentially, okay? You have gone through an experiment, and it would, we would appreciate it if you could help us understand the situation better. Um, the, what what's the last thing that you can remember? Well, they both they both speak in a very alarmingly accurate uh, accent of Ronan, and they both say, "Well, we both of us are actually 
uh, part of the imperial military and and we volunteered for this experiment because we were told it could help us you know protect the country but so we came here we were shipped to Skaldagri Island and the next thing we remember we were in tax and we were injected with serums and, mm-hmm. and now you're telling us they transformed us into our emperor yes uh who told you about this experiment um the emperor's cousin uh uh oh, what's the emperor's cousin's name again no one really cares man we all love the emperor fuck the rest of the family no <laughs> <laughs> was 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 his name in the journal uh in the journal name? uh his name will be i haven't decided actually let me um, think uh <laughs> It's... It's cause, cause he's just cousin for now. Yeah. yeah uh, that's cousin. It's Alexander Gosalpeo. Okay, uh, Alexander. Okay. It, mm. So we say, uh, is that is it Alexander, Sir Alexander? Oh uh, yes, it was Commander Alexander Gosalpeo who, who who asked us to participate in this procedure. Mm. And you know, you don't remember anything else. Well, we have gaps in our memories. We we don't know. Is this reversible? Can we change back? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we're trying to understand the situation, but um, rest assured, we'll try to help you understand uh, the rest of the situation. Meanwhile, um, gain your health back, regain your health, and we'll be on our way. Let us know if you need any help at all. So okay. I just leave that scene here i report what i heard to simon and uh investigator uh whatever these are the mm-hmm. details you do your thing i say yes fear's gonna enter vendetta said from his spot he's just like eyeing the two of them he's like he's like oh why is there two of them <laughs> well not in disgust that it's ronin but like it's like whoa yeah. he's, gonna, he's gonna be like uh i think i think the emperor needs to see these two yeah i agree I tell Ronnie and Ron, if the two of you can stand up, you should follow us out the hell out of here. If not, we could always put you in the bag. Oh, hold on, maybe <laughs> we, we really? should hold on, maybe we should patch them up first since you know yeah. this this one man has a has a huge gap in his uh intestines. Yeah. yeah. Say, oh yeah, you're right. And then I have done <laughs> all of my good berries. We'll leave you to it. He's just gonna sashay away down the stairs and they click 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 with the heels and it's like go get a butt here. Uh cover girl. Simon's also yeah, gonna sashay. Yeah. Simon's also gonna throw a bag of good carrots to Homer. <laughs> good carrots. I, say, I say, ah ingenious. <laughs> <laughs> and then I feed them. Uh, I feed them like with the bag of good carrots. <laughs> yeah. And then... uh, Ronnie and Ron, I tell you, whatever you need to do, you you can continue on. We can, we'll try to patch ourselves and wait until it's safe to go out. We're both soldiers, so we know the drill. Well, well good for right you. Then. Good luck, soldiers. Hmm. Inspector, uh, what what shall we do moving forward? I think we there was that like one room we haven't uh, went into yet, so uh, we'll check there and um, then uh, we'll see where it takes us. He's assuming that there are even more rooms, right? He doesn't know this is the last one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. We proceed. Okay. Well, before you proceed, you see a great door just in the, the f- locking away this last room. So, what you guys want to do? Let's um, check for traps first. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I want you guys to do uh, investigation. Yeah, investigation. And please describe to me how exactly you investigate. Do you knock on the door? Do you like, like I know, like I don't know, like look at it. How exactly? Just I don't know how to describe an arcana check, dude. <laughs> okay, an you arcana sniffed... check. You you're clear. You're in the clear. So you, you sniff the magic in the air. Oh my God, we all rolled okay. so bad. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. I'll wow. Try it, I'll try it. It's an investigation, right? Yeah. yeah. There oh, you go. go. Tej. Good job, Tj. Oh, that's a very good one. Yeah. Very good. Because, as you guys, uh, you're on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what's the alarm? So I'll, I'll see you guys poke at the door with your thieves tools, and then all of a sudden, you Boom. notice the door shakes a bit. Oh. You see an outline, and all of a sudden, it's a notice. mimic. Oh shit! It's a mimic a door. door. <laughs> Do the oh, oh my god! Yeah. Roll on I should have, guys. Okay. Oh, no. Kailangan pa na mo join in it, uh, Link? Ah, okay. Let me oh, get wait. that started, so... Wait, 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 guys. Begin. Oh, so you're going to do that to a cringe. Uh, right. Do in it join now, folks. In it join. I will say that you guys aren't, uh... <laughs> none of you got stuck to the door, so you guys are good. Because of that, uh, natural 20 by Tej, he was... He didn't touch the door. He just poked it with his, uh... Okay. Thieves tool, so... What's the command, though? Ah, uh, kani... Do check my SLS commands, bro. It's all there. Dili na mao. Nasa dice tray. Ah, dili ni mao. No, right. Ano, wala dice tray, wala dice tray. Yeah, no see. No see, that's it. Exclamation in it, join. Like that. Minute space joint. Oh, there you go. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> ah, the rules. Yeah, that's All right. <laughs> ah, okay. Someone's already doing it. Yeah. Yep. Someone, please. Uh, I will roll for this door mimic. Let me ah, just. The, the, it's the, up. The so mimic. it's. Can I copy paste the Ritsuba? Oh, okay. I mean, it didn't do it perfectly, but that was. Just bunny. Okay, I will roll. So cool. I am going to roll my rolls in the in this other server, the Shag and Wagon server. <laughs> so at least. Uh, so at least Link and Wayne can, you know, for transparency purposes, they can look at it and make sure that, you know, the rolls are done fair. It's okay. So, we trust you. It's okay. Yeah, like this I is also, you, dude. We trust in you. This is also for me to make sure that, you know, I'm, that I don't miss anything or mistake in any roll, so. <laughs> okay. Okay. The door mimic rolled a 15. I'm gonna do it differently, like for Wayne's case, like the baddies are in the middle, but here I will roll alongside. Yeah. All right. Well, he ended up in the middle either way, so... Yeah, you know. yeah so it ended up being effectively the same banana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, let me just... Uh, I had a stat block for, stat block for this dude, so... Yeah, like he's using the stat block of an it. ancient red dragon. Oh, damn. on the mimic? Damn. <laughs> wow. Can See, you imagine? That's just, that's some reskinning, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like Wayne and Link ask me for challenging encounters. Got it. <laughs> An entire mimic. Let's go. <laughs> it starts to fly so... like the doors flap open. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. You're just like, what the hell? <laughs> Breeds what? fire. <laughs> Bong exhales acid. <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys, uh, before we start, I'm gonna take a shower real quick so you guys can take a pee break, a water yes. break. Yes! Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Where's Post. my McDonald's? Where's <laughs> <laughs> my McDonald's? Where's my McDonald's? Where's my McDonald's? Sorry, na. <laughs> I could, okay, a person was supposed to bring me the food, so... I'm not ordering uh, off anywhere, so it's just like on just someone taking it, bringing it. Oh, okay, Slay. Okay, I'm gonna be AFK, bye. Okay. <laughs> okay, Slay. What the AFK plus a TJ? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Ladies, what we gonna say? Time check, uh, 2 hours, 19 minutes. 
Ooh, okay, that's good. Because we had, because we had breaks also. That's true. I'll meet myself because I'm eating dinner. Okay. So, top of the round, guys. The first is trend. A dusk bunny. What is? What do you do? Simon is gonna like hop on backwards all the way over okay. here that's right. 5 10 15 20 25 uh uh and then over he maybe here like hide behind this corner there are some crates that are covering him and yeah. then he ducks behind a crate very quickly <clears throat> And then it's as if Dust Bunny is running away. Simon is running away. Yeah. And then from behind the crate, you hear a voice uh, in a lower tone uh, say, <clears throat> Your darkness consumes the light and sunny. Tis oh now your doom. For I am the Dusk Bunny. And from out of the shadows uh, come Dusk Bunny. <laughs> that man. Oh. oh, no. Swain? That, that will be a free action just, you know, because it's funny. So, yes. yeah, you still have an action to attack and whatever. Oh yes. Uh, he Ooh. looks like this. Uh, no, yeah. he, he has a rifle. A musket, rather. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got like this whole cloak get up. He just quickly did a, a costume change. Uh, he acts like he doesn't know you guys. I've seen you guys first time. So he's gonna attack. First attack. Nice. The first attack roll. Uh, so this is a musket. First attack of the campaign, everyone. Make it Yeah. Great. Let's go. Great. Great. This is Great. Great. Dread... Dread Ambusher, the moment which lasts until end of turn. If you take the attack action damage, uh, attack action damage, you get one. Okay, okay, okay. First musket. Boom, 26 to hit, 8 damage. Nice. That hits, that hits. Uh, because this is my first turn of combat, I can uh, make an additional weapon attack. Nice. Go for so it. So I do that again. So, boom. <laughs> 11 to hit? Does that still hit, ba? Uh, no, that does not hit. It misses, okay. Uh, at, at, if you take the attack action, then add one part of that action. Dealing an extra 1d8 damage on the weapon type on the hit. Because I hit the I missed the second one, I do not have extra damage. Okay. Uh, but when I hit a creature with an attack roll, I can mark the target as my favorite enemy for one minute. So my that's my favorite foe. Uh, uh, this door is now my favorite foe for one minute. Okay. Coolio. Any bonus Coolio. actions? As a bonus action... Uh, uh, nope, I'm a chill. All right. Okay, so total he gets eight points. Yeah, uh, right. I will move another ten feet closer though, because as for my first act, my first turn, I get an additional mm -hmm. ten feet of movement. So I'll move mm -hmm. another ten feet, maybe in this direction, this way. So did five, okay. ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. There. Okay, great. <clears throat> and my turn there. Right. Okay. Uh, next. That whole Nexus. interaction makes Homer go, is that guy alright? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Anyways, uh... <laughs> Nexus trying to fear his turn, and Sorika, please repair. Uh, uh how, how, does sneak, see, how does sneak attack work with this one? It's... Uh, since Sorika is right next to the Mimic, you have sneak attack. Yeah, okay, but you don't so roll with to... advantage. Yeah, 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 okay. So Trend of Fear is gonna scoot over here walking. He's gonna he's gonna he's he's very calm, very very, you know, he got and then <laughs> he is going to take one hand and he's gonna spread his fingers and it's gonna manifest the fan. Yes. Nice. Cool. And because he has long limbs, he's he can hit from all the way through here. Yeah, has nice and Ten he feet is reach. gonna he's gonna swing. Okay. Shake a 
10. It's cool, but that's a 10. Oof. And as a bonus action, he takes out the second one. Yeah. Okay. And... Nah, 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 nah. Nope. Unfortunately. Well, do you want to use Do you want to use a wishbone? Do I want to use a wishbone? Uh, yeah. I'll save it. I'll save it. You no sure? Worries. Wait. Yeah. Okay. You sure? Why did you offer it's that okay. to me, DM? <laughs> oh fuck! I forgot. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, no, no. I'll save my wishbone. So he's just gonna, you know, flourish. He's gonna keep swinging his thing, but then you know, okay. he's creeped out by the mimic. He's like, "Ooh, I'm gonna move back yeah. here." Excuse me. He you try to swing with uh you you do like a you you wave your fans with your long arms at the mimic but the mimic is able to counter it with like by shape shifting a few tentacles to swat your hands away Ooh. yeah e. all right next is sorka's turn and it will be the mimic but vendetta please prepare your move said yep okay I can't sneak, no? Yeah, because no, no one is uh, next no to one's, it. No one's blocking me. Yeah. Uh, sige lang. Sorka is brave. Nice. Yeah. Brave. Sige lang. And so... He is scared. She will attack. <laughs> <laughs> Her dagger in hand. She does little tricks, you know, because she's a showgirl. Nice. Period. And then bit. she goes... Pshing. A. And. Do I just, do I just say A dagger? Yeah, just, just say dagger. Lang. Dagger. Yeah. I wonder if dag would work. 22. Nice. <laughs> and she deals 5 damage to the hook. <laughs> no, we're playing DD. Oh. Okay, right. got it. Um, you need to get the food. Oh, oh wait, the DJ is not getting the food. Alright. Uh, the bonus action. You could you could cunning action to disengage or yeah. yeah. Or you could stab again. That's also an option. Uh, I will stab again. Okay. And then with her her left hand, she does tricks as well. Nice. She slays. Yes, she does. She slays. She's your honor, she's playing. Nice. Yeah. So all in all, she deals eleven damage. Yeah. Um. Question: Like the the modifier is added here, so I think it should be three long, right? Or uh, okay. Uh, okay. Three. Yeah. That's... So it'll just be three, but that's good. That right. is good. Okay. So eight long, all in all. Yeah. Still good. Still good. Okay. Yeah. I will stay nice. here and be brave. Nice. Okay, now it is Zimimik's turn. No, no. And, you know, it's being disgusting. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and it starts to uh, shape shift a few tendrils and is going to. Tr uh, you see these tendrils, these. It almost looks like steel tentacles. Yeah. And at the end of it, it has like. Dagger is pointing out, and it will try to slash, and it is going to uh, going to attack Vendetta, Sorka, and also Homer because this has a reach of ten feet. These tendrils. So, I have a question. Can it what? reach me even though Sorka's in the way, or like maybe it's going in the in between there? Uh, you're not fine. It's just Sorka and Vendetta. I really can't see you now that I think about it. Okay. So, okay. Uh, that will be. Let me just roll these. This one is uh, goes to Vendetta first. Oh wait, sorry. I have to have to roll the. Have to roll and make sure it hits. That's gonna be. Five. So what's your AC Vendetta? Oh. 17. Oof. Okay. Unfortunately, I rolled higher. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, you get... 
Uh, five points of damage. Okay. Yeah. And for Sorka, you get... Uh, we'll see if this hits. It's actually fitting that your name in the other server is Rayscale the Aberrant, because we are yeah. technically fighting an aberration. It's not an aberration, it's a monstrosity. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it tries to take a string at you, Sorka, but you're able to dodge the tendril that swipes at you. Uh, yeah. She does a backstab. <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah, it, I rolled low, so I didn't cross your AC. So, I don't know about that. That was funny. All right. Uh, next, he's going to try to do a bite attack. And Sorka, you're the closest one. So, Bye. we will see if it hits. Oof. I have too much tabs open. Let me... <laughs> Hold on, let me try using my phone for this one. Okay. D20 plus. Does a 16 hit you? <gasps> oh no! Yes, it does. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> so, its tongue was able to wrap your arm all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. and it tries to drag you closer, and its teeth scratch... You were able to wrench free, but one of its teeth scratches your hand, so... Oh, no! How you got your injury. And you get, uh... And... Oh. You get nine points of, uh... Damage. Nine points of piercing damage along with another additional. Huh? Because of oh, its acidic shit. tongue. Oh. Ah. So you got three plus nine, you got 12 points of damage total. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> so that's the mimic's turn. And now it's Vendetta's turn. Mika, it's your turn. I'm sorry. Um, Hexblade's curse, bonus action. Nice. Well, how does uh, the Hexblade look like? Um, uh, ano lang. I would, would, I have an idea on top, but it might trigger your phobia, so just oh, green. Okay. Yeah, just a green, <laughs> just a green, like, circle-ish. Yeah. A that green, yeah, a green string just wraps around <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. yeah, a string, <laughs> just a string, okay. Uh, just a string. Okay, that one. And then, that's kind of automatic, right? That happens That's a bonus good. action, yeah, yeah, there's no save. Okay, great, that happens good. And then, for my attack, so I will cut poison, poison spray. Ooh. You know, just wanting to try my <laughs> Yuanti things. Yeah. So I need what? to do a save, right? Yeah, a con. Um cast not no? Like see yeah. happen. Cast yeah. see poison spray. Poison spray. Um I'm sorry, Commander Nagaisa. I'm so shit at can can trip. I think it's cast and then ah, cast. poison spray. Yeah. Okay. Poison spray. Cast poison spray. Uh, I it's thirteen, my dude. Okay. Um. Oh shit. You cast poison spray, your green smoke erupts from your hand and hits the mimic, but all of a sudden it seals its mouth shut to prevent the gas from entering. It was able to save. <gasps> oh no! Yeah. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Alright, next is TJ's turn. TJ, it's your turn. She's a little busy, can you go, Sha? 
Um, oh. I'm gonna go call him. Yeah, mag switch switch this. Yeah. Sure. Gotcha. Mag- Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh, in, in case I cut off, my turn is basically cast entangle and then use 2d6 worth of my fairy thing to heal Sorka. Okay, that's your bonus action to heal yeah. Sorka. And casting entangled is your action. Yep. In case well, the, I cut off. What save is the entangle? entangle? Let me just bring up the spell na lang. So it's like I casted it. There you go. 14 uh, strength. DC 14 strength. Ah, uh, 14 strength. Okay. <clears throat> Don't worry see. about that later, though. Yeah. I'll just prepare accordingly as well to what I'm rolling. That's a D20 plus. Okay. All right. Yeah, I edited this mimic a bit because it's usually a medium-sized monstrosity, but this one's large. Oh. Oh, man. Love that for us. Yeah. <laughs> no, because it's, it's it's better uh, cuz we can two of us can hit it at the same time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Bigger target. Yeah. If it was medium, though, we could surround it. Hmm. Yeah. There you go, man. Ah. Uh, I actually also have. I also have DJ's character sheet to look at, so I can <clears throat> assist him if if yeah. he has any. Mm. You know. I can help him side because. I, yeah. I I kind of know arcane trickster. Yeah, he can do booming blade and green flame blade. So I told him to that's... do green flame blade in case there's a fire weakness. Yeah. There we go. I'll be the entangle area later. Mm. No. Can you no. burn yes. down? Oh. oh no, you can't burn it down, man. There's no, there's no, nothing that's that says there that fire will affect it. And... Yeah. Is TJ there? Yes, TJ. It's your turn now. My turn. Um, yeah. I will attack the door. Yeah. Let's go. With uh, with what weapon? I'll uh, use my my rapier. Nice. You'll have to move closer. Yeah. There we go. And you have sneak attack because Sorka is next to you. Uh, one. Can he crash though? Yes. Okay. Can he crash in the end? Ah. Okay. 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 Sige, sige. Oh, there it is. oh, there he's back. There we go. Uh, Here we go. Ooh. No, what's happening? He's rolling now that attack. Oh. No, he plus three. I mean, crash Because he keeps disconnecting. Can you voice to your phone? Oh. oh, this is the time when TJ's like internet cuts off or something. Yeah. Oh, no. oh it's at this time? Shit. Yeah, I remember like it yeah. was like that earlier. That's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're oh, under parental controls. Oh. No, wait, wait. wait for real, dude. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You still have intention. Oh my god. Wait. Oh no, it was 
If you oh. do the attack, it pl it adds it ahead, bro. Oh, okay. Oh. You exclamation mark A. A rapier? Yes. Yeah. A space oh, rapier. Oh, there you there go. There we go. Nice. And then That's you add your green damage. flame blade damage, which is... Oh! We're, you're, we're not level 5 not yet, so there's no... Yet, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, what uh, uh, does he need to roll for sneak attack damage? He can. Yeah, he will. Just, like sneak. Ah. Okay. A space sneak. Oh, mm. that's how that works. Then A or what? A space sneak. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Press enter. Oh, okay. Ooh, Whoa, nice. almost full oh, damage. Oh, that's a big damage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Ridiculous. Did one damage so far. She. My you have a computer, eh? Teej, uh, <laughs> Teej runs to the mimic and takes his rapier and like sticks the rapier into the mouth of the mimic. You know, it's like a toothpick hitting a, hitting a person's teeth. So, yeah, <laughs> that hurts. It's like hell. <laughs> and the mimic's just like, ah! You say that like you're saying that from experience to gear up. <laughs> yeah, because I have injured my gums sometimes when I use a oh, toothpick. No. Which is not fun. <laughs> okay. Bonus action, right? Yeah, yeah, you do have a bonus action. You can either attack him again. Oh, 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 yeah, you have that too. You want to disengage and go back or... Yes. Okay, yeah. Use your cunning action to disengage, and then you can move away now, and the uh, mimic won't attack you. Oh, so, how far can I can move? The oh, my you can, you can move it. Uh, just move your token. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So that ends all your turns, and next is Homer. So. All right, I will carry out my plan as intended. Nothing has changed there. So I will hit the staff on the ground once again, and I say, "Burn these pests with the roots of the Feywild," and I cast Entangle over there. Branches uh, and thorns grow around the ground. tries to wrap the mutated mimic and successfully restrains it. Oh, I see the roll. Oh, Let's go! For that. Okay, yeah. so he's restrained. So, everyone, restrained creatures, they... Uh, you get advantage when you attack them, so that's nice. very helpful for the um, rogues. And then, um, it has disadvantage on attacks against us. Nice. Yeah. So put, like, an attachment there, restrained. There. there. You go, guys. And, uh, and after that, Homer will also say, Keep it up, kitty. And then I will heal her for 2d6. Let's oh, see 2D6. how much she... How much, uh... Nine. Oh, nice. Back to full, oh, yeah. 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 Sorka, you got nine HP back. Oh, thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> You also get two temporary HP because I spent two dice. So nice. Mm. Yay, so I'm almost full. Yeah. Nice. Yay. Perfect. Thanks. All right. Top of the round, guys. It's round two now. And that's oh, funny. Before it's... that, uh, uh -huh. Feather. Because I forgot about Feather. Oh, yeah. I'm not used, I'm not used to having a familiar as a druid. Um, it is going to give a help to Sarka, cause... Kalu hold on, hold on. Isn't it a bonus action to have your familiar do that? Or is it a... F uh, or does the familiar... Oh! Okay, I didn't yeah. know that. Okay, it's, not, okay. it's not like the Steel Defender. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Like the steel or, or the Warlock one. Yeah. Alright! Alrighty, so it will give a help action to Sarka, okay? She hasn't had a chance to sneak it. And then All right. Get the hell out of there. Go. Done. Okay. Next is Dusk Bunny's turn. Dusk Bunny 
uh, takes out his musket again, ignoring the loading properly because he is a gunner. <clears throat> oh. Uh, What's sh- cool? Do I want to cast spells? Nope, I don't. I just wanna shoot. Okay. <clears throat> Shoots. Uh, DM, by the way, I was supposed to have an extra d4 of damage previously because of the favored foe. Uh, yeah. Oh. If you will allow, I will add that na lang here. So I will add 2d4 instead of 1d4. That's fine. That'll do. Cool. So let's see if I hit first though. But this is with advantage. So it should hit. A. Okay. Musket. Wrong spelling musket. Uh, ADV. Uh, one B I dash B two D four. Okay, let's go critical. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Atlanta just paying off, yo. <laughs> Man, hype, man, eh? Wait, wait, wait. Let's uh, go. Let's ig- we ignore the the two D four because that's supposed to be damage. Ah, uh, let we can just move that to damage instead. So it's twenty eight to hit, but critical. Oh, I add another two D four because the dub, the dice. Ah, uh, no, I just add one no, because just one. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Correct, correct. The mundo R one D four. So, where is it? Okay, so that is fourteen plus one, fifteen plus seven, twenty two dam damage. Dm. Twenty two. Twenty two. Okay. Twenty two. Fifty three. Ew. 22 damage. Is that all I can do? Wala pa koy extra attack. We're not level 5 yet. Uh, uh, I think that's it. Uh, Dust Bunny is just <clears throat> shoots. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> I don't know, he says, like, uh, uh, he says, <clears throat> knock, knock. <laughs> Whatever. What the fuck? Enter. Enter. All right. Next, okay. trend of fear. It's your turn. Okay, he's gonna give it a good old try. He's gonna start spinning. He's gonna for for a rogue. He's gonna start spinning. Sure. And he's gonna try to hit him again. You have advantage uh, for this restraint. Yes. Thank you. That Are you gonna move be... forward? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll move. I'll move where I was earlier. This one. That's okay. a... How much? What did I get? Oh. 24. Oh, I got a 24. Sick. And nice. then... Oh, also bonus action. We'll see what happens. And he's going to swing again. Uh, what is that? The hit 12. The damage is still rolling in my end. Uh, no, no, no. I think he's so. doing all of his attacks first, Rob. Yeah, I'm doing all of my attacks first. Okay. Yeah. So that's a 15 and a 24. That should be... Does a, does a 15 hit? Yeah, yeah. They okay. they all hit, both of them. So you won't... Yes, let's yes, roll yes. the marsh. Damage and then... Uh, sneak attack. Where is my sneak attack? That's a 4. What is that? That is a 7 and sneak attack. That seven, a seven for nice, okay. yeah. And he's not gonna move this time. He's like he he, and then he assumes a assumes a position where he fans himself with the other one on his back. He's basically waiting for nice. the, the next but, opportunity to strike. But Trandafira, how do you are you lethally or non lethally killing this mimic? Oh, already? Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, when he when he pauses, he's just gonna toss two two of the daggers. Towards, towards its... Is that a face? Whatever, it's lit. Yeah. <laughs> and when it when it lands, the, the psychic fans just vanish. Nice. So you killed it. Yeah. Hey, big clap. <laughs> nice. Good job. Hey, Dust Bunny, s- Dust Bunny mm-hmm. says, This is the part you say, who is there? <laughs> <laughs> And then I ask, uh, yeah, indeed, who is there? <laughs> indeed, who is there? When a fear is gonna enter his head, Simon, is that you? And, and you just hear him. 
Who's Simon? The Pierce is gonna shake his head and it's like, okay, alright. The way is, I think, open. We should probably go. Yeah, the mimic's gone, so I can't pull it away for some reason. Did you lock the, you locked you locked it. the token? Oh, silly me, I did. Okay, there, now I can move it. Mm. Oh, silly me. And now it's ooh, ooh. gone. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, please do not. Oh my god. Please don't. Oh my god. <laughs> Because I know that it makes oh, you all uncomfortable. Oh, by the way, I take away the entangle, yeah. Yeah. So he collapses, the mimic, uh, you know, it, it squirms a bit, but then it collapses lifeless. And now you enter this room, and this is another laboratory, actually. You see in this laboratory, even, uh, there are these four points. No, don't step on there. That's like a it's like a swimming pool actually, but on those four points there are oh. four bodies just uh being infused with these ser with these golden serums and you see these four bodies slowly like shifting from their original faces to Ronan's faces. And you also notice an individual over here walking behind the pipes. And you also notice that he is injecting something into his veins. Uh -oh. You see this man, Dr. Trench, he is a man in a lab coat with a top hat and a gas mask. And he approaches and says, Who are you and who sent you here? You're kind of late to the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of a punchline, punch him in the face! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, roll for initiative, guys. Hey. hey, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on. Before. Oh, refreshing. The Do we need to thing. init join again? Yeah. Uh, hmm. No, you don't have to. But uh, Doctor Trench will be on top of the round. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> but this is counted as another combat encounter. Yes, DM. Yeah. Great. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just keep this just to save time. Oh, okay. Great. So, Doctor Trench will make the first move. Also, DM, uh, I'd like to inform again that I'm that because the mimic died because of my hexblade's curse, I I regain six HP. Boom. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bada beam. Bada All back to health. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, I need to look at the freaking. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay, so Dr. Trench makes his move first. Hello, hello? Okay, I'm back. You're gonna and, he's, and he's going to cast a spell. As, oh. as uh, Vendetta and Homer rush towards him, uh, you guys are here, actually, before you could make it, and he casts. Average black tentacles. Ew. Oh. That sounds Ew, that sounds gross. Sounds disgusting. Disgusting. No. Is it gonna come from the pool? It's gonna come from the pool. Yeah, it's gonna... For flavor, he conjures these tentacles out of the pool and it starts grabbing you guys at the wrists. Yeah. Saving throws. Ew. Yeah. And uh, I want to make sure, uh, this is a 20-foot square, so just to make sure, yeah, okay, 24... you, you have to pick a group. <clears throat> yeah, actually, the you have to pick a group. Yeah, no, wait. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's a 20-foot square on the ground, so based on my measurements, you all reach the 20-foot square on the ground. What? Wait, no, wait. Let me... That's, that's you can four hit, squares, right? You so, can hit yeah. four max. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna hit the ones of Vendetta, Homer, Sorka, and Tej. So, you guys, you guys need to succeed on a deck saving throw, please. This is a spell, right? This is a spell. I so have, you have advantage. advantage. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's go, sis. 
<laughs> like, and then I think the rogues they have like uh if it's dexterity they is it is it at level four? Yet, no, that's on level oh. seven. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, but hey, they should be good at dex. Is it evasion? Evasion. Yeah, evasion. Yeah. C dex. Yep. Yeah, it's a dexterity. S, S space dex. The the DC uh, the DC is fourteen guys. So. Alright. Oh, what do you say, Nara? Okay. Oh, oh, Sorka. Hey! Oh, nice. Geez. Deej makes it. I make it, right? 17? Yes. Oh, my god. Kulban, <laughs> So, So, as you are, um, as the, for Vendetta especially, as the tentacles try to, like, grab your yeah. wrists. I call for Valak. Yeah, Valak. Valak just manifests suddenly, like, for a brief second, you know, in reality, and he starts like ripping the tentacles off your arms. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. We see that. Ooh. Do we see briefly? That? You see that briefly. Whoa. Girl, like girl, like us. Morashag, you know that one second clip uh, that's inserted in movies or something, kind of like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. do you need do, do you need that Bible now? <laughs> yeah. No, we all need to go to church. <laughs> oh. Um, Barry, my McDonald's is here. <laughs> okay. So, I'll put McDonald's. Wow. Uh, so, so Peach and Vendetta make the save. What about Sorka and Homer? I, I got an 11. Oh, shoot. So... Homer, Homer hasn't rolled, ba? Link. I think he's disconnected. Link on. Give us a sign. <laughs> Are you with us? Are oh, you here? Are you with us? Not I'll, twice for I'll, yes. <laughs> I'll roll for him. It's just a deck save, right? That's true, yeah. Plus two. I'll click it on his character sheet. Oh no. Okay. <clears throat> oh no. Roll the five. He oh, failed, no. didn't he? Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. So. Does he have um, a reaction? Means... Let me see. Reaction. Reaction. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Shit. Okay. So that means uh, you, uh, Sorka and Homer, you guys will get three d six bludgeoning damage and are restrained by these tentacles. Yeah. So I will roll. Don't worry, you're not restrained like completely. They just mm -hmm. like grab at your arms, you know, like holding your arms in place. Yeah. 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 Holding hands. Yo! Ew! With the tentacle e. Ew! <laughs> I love getting a reaction out of that. <laughs> <laughs> you get um nine points of bludgeoning damage. Me? So the nine points I I got I healed from. <laughs> yeah. No one ever said. Oh, but you had the temporary hit points, so subtract that first, and then you get seven na remaining on your actual. Okay. Hmm. And so does Homer. So okay. Homer, Homer gets some as well. He, I will put it lang nine HP, nine damage. He's no longer concentrating on entangled from earlier. Yeah, so that's that'll be there. Okay, so that's Doctor Trench's turn, and he will also, uh. He will also move a bit away because he is a spellcaster and he knows he doesn't do well in a fight. So he is going to move 30 feet. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He moves here. So yeah, that ends his turn. Next is a Dusk Bunny. Mm. And just to be clear, the... The tentacles, they're in the area along within uh, Vendetta and uh, Tej, so you can move on the swimming pole, no problem. You don't have to worry about getting restrained. Okay, I'm gonna move north. One, okay. two, three, four, uh, that's 20, 25, 30. I still have 10 foot feet movement left. I have line of sight. Okay. Yeah, you this do. This is my first... 
a turn in this combat encounter, so I have Dread Ambusher again. Okay. Uh, but no advantage, right? Uh, yeah. A musket. Uh, do I have modifiers? <clears throat> uh, no. But this should have favored foe. <coughs> okay. Uh, why is that? Because when I hit a creature, if I hit uh, with an attack roll, uh -huh. I can mark mark them as a favored foe. Okay, okay. But if you hit him, right? You haven't hit him yet, so... The first time on to return with <coughs> and deal damage to it, including when you mark it, including when you mark okay. it. Okay. There. Okay, okay. Okay. Go. First, first attack, <coughs> 23 to hit, 13 damage, and they are marked. Oh, nice. Okay, I am yeah. concentrating. You fire your musket at him, and tr uh, your bullet fires at him as, as it travels. Trench tries to create a force field, but the bullet ricochets off up corner and hits him in the back. Oh, oh he yeah. shielded? Yeah, but, but you were able to hit through his AC. With the 23? Oh, okay. So it's probably, yeah. I don't know, 22, 21. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the extra damage. One. Yeah. So 14 yeah. damage total for that first okay. attack. And oh, then I will okay. do musket extra attack because this is my first turn, Dread Ambusher. Okay. If I hit with this one, I deal an extra 1d8. Uh, okay. Uh, the first time in favor energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1d8. <clears throat> if I hit this one. Musket, go! Critical! Oh hey. my god! <laughs> Let's go, so, so that's 2d8. Damage. So 13 plus 6 is 19 plus earlier 14 is uh, 23, 33 damage total. Nice. Okay. Yes, sir. Anything, video games? Let's go. Boom. So t two shots. Boom. Boom. You're not getting away, Shaiji. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Trench has to make a concentration check for Everett's tentacles. Yep, DC so is those. 17. Okay. Uh, is my math right? No, 16. Okay. And... Oh, okay. So that, you're so good at playing. For the first roll... <laughs> Shit. From the first shot, you notice his tentacles disintegrate. So yeah. the guys are not restrained anymore. Yeah. yeah. Alright. You end your turn? End turn. We were restrained. I just came back. Yeah, <laughs> but it's over now, so don't don't worry about it. Okay, okay. <laughs> and now Trench will take a legendary action. Whoa! Oh. Whoa. First session! <laughs> Early. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. He is going to cast a spell. Uh oh. And he is going to. Uh, movement doesn't really. No, it's actually up to me as well. So. Mm hmm. Hmm. He is going to. What is he going to do? Hmm. 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 All right, all right. He, let me see if this one is within line. Crap, he can only hit one. <laughs> is the initiative order in the correct order, guys? Mm -hmm. I was away for a while. Yeah, same right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's the same. But Dr. Uh, Trench goes first, no? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So I did hear that correctly. She is going to try and cast Black Tentacles again. Oi. And this time, <clears throat> he will target uh, Trandafira, Tej, and Sorka again. What is he do? Okay, let's go. And this is at the 5th level, guys. Holy I mean, at, not, is this oh, at the 5th level? Nice. Let me <laughs> check. Whoa. So wait, you wait, wait. Yeah, it's at the fifth level, guys. Fifth so, level? He's a yeah. he's a level 
what is that? Eight level nine, nine, nine spellcaster? Probably, what? yeah. Maybe. Ridiculous. Maybe. So that kind of he makes is, sense. He's one dude. He's going to yeah. Um, please do another deck save, please. One sec. Wait. Uh, oh. Okay. Trandafira, Tej, and Sorka. The rogues. Okay. The rogues, yeah. aka rogues. me. I will. Oh no! Oh no! no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Somebody, wait, what happened to the rogues, cringe? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to expand. Uh, how, once I get to Rosa Wishbones, can it? You just uh, one, one is the one. Is, yeah, it's the same. It's the same as uh, Cloverleaf. <laughs> I I kind of forgot how to use the wishbones. Not gonna lie. So, it's the same as the Cloverleaf. One is the one, dude. So yeah. you use one to add one. Mm. Only one there, no? Ang yeah. 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 Okay, I'll use one. With a 13 so save? Makes... No. Uh, okay. Uh, the DC is 14. The DC is 14. So... Uh, animal. So don't use yeah. it na lang. Don't use it. <laughs> okay. Okay, mm. I won't. Okay, Tej saves. Uh, what about Sorka? I don't. Oh, no. Again? <laughs> Where did you guys roll, by the way? Nice trade. Uh, uh, on. on the score, draw. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, you guys will be rolling. Uh, forty-six damage. Uh, oh I will roll that. I will roll that. Sorry. What? They're also restrained, right? And they're restrained, except for Tej. Tej, oh. since he saves. Uh, let's see. Great sure. It doesn't say here that they take half as much damage, so I guess they're good, you know? They're okay. Yeah. That's what it says, so... For the rest of you guys, it's 46. You, Atrandafira and uh, Sorka, you get 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, yeah. For some reason, so, I will... Uh -huh. Oh! Oh, that's half. Oh, that's half. <laughs> oh Yo, boy! I'm about to die. <laughs> oh boy! Okay. Uh, next is Trandafira's turn. Seven so, plus. what do I do with this? Uh, let's see. Let me see if you can actually break out at a the creature start of that turn. starts its turn in the area and is already restrained takes three d six bludgeoning. Still, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh no, DM. Are you gonna <laughs> actually die? I, I think so. Okay, three D six is a lot. Oh no! What have I done? Okay. <laughs> what yeah, unless I... he rolls like all ones. What have yeah. I done? What have you yeah. done? Let's go. Let's go. These are. Yes. I, this is me trying to find balance with a challenging encounter. <laughs> Doctor Dr. Trench has dark vision. DM. Uh, Doctor Trench. He does, he does. Oh, are wow. we in darkness? No, yeah. we're not. We're not. We're not. There is it dim here. light? <clears throat> Why would it benefit you? It it might. <laughs> I wanna say yes. <laughs> I wanna say yes. And um yeah, Trend of Fury, you have 18 damage. I am damage. Are you fucking serious? Oh yeah, my damn. god. <coughs> Oof. Okay. But that's damn. gonna be awkward. That's gonna be awkward if Fira dies here. No, don't no, worry. like in the, in the in the campaign, but in general. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Oh, what's gonna What's gonna happen in the future? Oh. Okay. Oh, now it's and... insane. Okay. Next is. Uh. Sorka. Yeah. Next is Sorka's turn. Fuck! You also have a uh, no. You're 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 starting months. I uh, know. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck! What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> what did What did you did, DM? <laughs> Yeah, what, what did I? What did, did, what did you I did? I am. What? This is crime. Uh, it's a it's a hate crime. Let's you go. have twelve damage for this one. Down. Who has twelve damage? Sorka. You. 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 Girl. Girl, I'm down. Down. Oh, are God. you unconscious? Yes. Yeah. Unconscious. Yeah. Oh Two my down. God. Let's go. Let's go. Like she's okay. actually she's down. Okay. Okay. Uh, next is Vendetta's turn. <laughs> Vendetta will cast Darkness Ooh. on her. Um... On who? Wait, uh. Weapon. Can I clarify, DM? I'm so sorry. What? Okay. 
Go, go. Um, if darkness, my friends cannot attack, right? Kay yes, they cannot they, attack. They, they cannot, cannot see. Attack. They cannot, they cannot attack him. the Doctor Trench. Yeah. Yes. No, it's just around. And then I will, I will cast it on myself. Okay. Like on, on my gem in my head in my forehead, yeah. and I will advance five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. That's a good way of using darkness, actually. Darkness, yeah. so it follows me. Fifteen radius sphere. I don't know how to make a sphere, so it, it's someone fine. who Go. does know. I will. I will yeah. help. Okay, thank you. So, can I? Um, and then there. I think that's it. Actually, spell oh. you. You cast a spell. Wait, let me check. <clears throat> if that's really you casted a do. spell, bonus mm. action, you didn't do anything. I don't have any bonus action that's attack. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm, Hexblade, okay. Hexblade's curse you used earlier, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah she can't use Are you again. full HP right now? Yes. Yeah, you can, you can chill. Okay. Mm. You're good. Alright. I will... I will talk to Valak. Valak! What do we think about this Dr. Trench? How you want his head served on a plate? <laughs> Either way, <laughs> way is fine. <laughs> a barbecue, ma'am. So you go, let's do it. Okay. Six, uh... Hmm. Mm-hmm. Who, whose turn is it next? It's Tej's turn. Tej. Oh. Yeah. I think... TJ, you ought to... I don't think I can do anything, but... Because you cannot see one at the moment, Dr. Oh, Trench. Yeah, so... and also, he has to take ano, bludgeoning damage too because he starts his turn in the area. Wait. In the Damn. area? Oh, shit. Yeah, because he, he's also... He oh, saved. Wait, no, no, no. He saved. Yeah, he saved. He saved. Oh, yeah, he saved. According to the spell, a creature that starts its turn in the area and is already restrained. Ah, no, yeah. He's, he's good. He's good. He's saved. He's, he's good. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you can administer uh, potions. healing potions. Yeah. I don't think he has potions unless... Yeah, I, I don't know. Unless the... Does Trandafira and Sorka have potions on their uh, person? Not me. Not me. What about Sorka? <laughs> Healing potions, no. Oh, dang. Okay. Damn, what the... Can we retcon... First session... Can we all of you then. Can we retcon... First session... Expectations. Ah, okay, okay. Olana, you have to stick with your decisions. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. We won't die. We won't die. Okay. I trust... I trust Rone. Ronin? Sure. We, we believe that the DM won't kill us on the first session. Oh. But, but this is a lesson. You have to... Yeah! I could, have, I could have given a healing potion before I left that area. I was area. so confident, Ganina. I was like, I don't need a healing potion. It's the first <laughs> session. <laughs> Girl. Um, you know what happened? All my luck went to yeah. all the rolls, Ganina. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, okay. I didn't expect to fail a deck save, so it's unexpected, but it's so, okay. So, <laughs> TJ can... Wait, can he but even reach? Oh, okay. He has 40 feet of movement. He can... He can... Bro, you can reach, like, here beside Vendetta. <clears throat> and just ready an action that... Yeah. If ever Vendetta does move away and, like, the darkness follows the darkness her... Moves away, and you yeah. can And you can see Dr. Trench... You can attack. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. You can. I think the you diagonal. Can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, DM question, I'm, sorry. Very quick yeah. question. Do I have to roll to cast darkness? No. No, no. Oh, I'll okay. Come picture. All right, Sigi. Continue, sorry. Okay. All right. So TH can go there. He can ready his action. So, yeah. That can be his turn. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, hang All on. Right. Uh, correct what? me, correct me, Lincoln. Kay nakalimot na said ko. Can TJ actually try to attack Doctor Trench now because he knows where his previous location was? But would it be at disadvantage? 
did trench hide because if he, he didn't, didn't. Hide, he... Oh, okay then he would know where he was last yeah but it would be nice. with disadvantage right yeah, yeah i think so uh or, oh, wait if trench is blinded then he should oh it's a fla flat roll it's a, it's flat, a flat roll, roll yeah because both of them are blinded yeah 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 <laughs> Oh, <laughs> That's so in funny. Other words, so in roll. other words, not. Yeah. Oh no! In other words, yes. Oh other no! Words, just complete the sentence. Wait, but like, oh, I think if 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 T if T just also blinded, can he even attack in the first place if he can't see? I don't know. He can he, probably. I swing. mean, he can hear and s even try to smell trench. You know, he can use his other side. <laughs> Probably smells like ink. I can like, see mud, yes. right? So up to you, yeah, DM. You you make a quiet. you make a decision now, and we'll just follow it for the rest of the game, and we'll reconfirm this ruling later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cause, cause I know for a fact both of them are blinded by Vendetta's darkness. But I can see cl see clearly because I casted it. And you have devil oh, sight. Right? You have devil sight. Yeah. You have devil sight, right? <laughs> okay. Mm. Hmm. So you should be able to see it. You're fine. I will, but... I will tell. I will tell TJ where he is. <laughs> yeah, he should, when that I can tell TJ so the general idea. It'll be a flat roll. It'll be a flat roll. I will. I will say attack uh, northeast of you. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, he's at your two o'clock. <laughs> he could. He could. He could try finding the two o'clock in a dark yeah. place. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both of them are blinded. This is a flat roll. Yeah. <laughs> Go, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Attack Why? with my rapier. Yeah, go. Go, go teach. Go for no the gums. No advantage, no disadvantage. Go for the gums. <laughs> go teach. Exclamation A rapier. rapier. Yes. Rapier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bless you. Unfortunate. Oh. Damn. Ten. Unfortunate. You missed. Yeah. You, Teej was able, Vendetta, you only see this, you were able to see Teej try to strike a trench, but he swipes only at, like, a piece of his coat, so... Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Your other <laughs> left! Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> that's not two o'clock, that's like... One <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next is Homer's turn. Homer said something in chat. Oh. I'm gonna use a spell scroll of cure wounds on Sorka through my familiar and then use two of my fey energy to heal Fira. Nice. Okay. Ooh. All right. Oh, wait. That's so, so noble. Can he. Can someone roll the cure wounds for a uh, not I for. Oh, okay. yeah. hello. Uh, See roll for the cure wounds and for the fey energy. Yes. So scroll, spell scroll, use that, and then using the familiar's reactions, going to deliver the spell. So D8 plus. Are you not? I'll just cast your wounds. No, no, no. I can't do that. Yeah, okay. It's technically not prepared. DM, so because they're plus... down, are they still restrained by the black tentacle shit? Ah. Uh... Or do the tentacles I'm... go away after they're unconscious? How does that work? The the tentacles still exist actually. Because it's because so... they're they're just gonna get damaged again. No, on... that's true. Yeah, that's a bad idea. You no, guys I don't have... want them to get a death save, man. Yeah, that's yeah. Dangerous. Do you want to cast so, DM, how are they, how are they supposed to get out of the black tentacles? It's supposed to be a save at the end of their turn. Yeah, okay. The start game, but they take more damage and then. And you have to survive the, the damage. You have to use your yeah. action to do a strength save, I read. Okay, yeah. so you have to survive the damage and then attempt the strength save, I hear. Mm. They can use uh, an act, it's action, the creature restrained by the tentacles can use its action to make a strength or dex say, check against Strange's DC. And on the oh success, God. they free themselves, but it's just that they were knocked out when they received the initial damage, so yeah. That's funny. I think it's up to you, man. You gotta make it lose its concentration somehow. Yeah. Okay. In a quick up, na mo kay madamage yapon make it. It'll happen on the start of our turns, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. In either case, so Sorka gets seven uh, health back, so seven. And then uh, for Trandafira, you will get two d six. Okay. Three. 6 HP back to you, and then 2 temporary HP. Thanks. Go. Alright. 6 HP, 2 10. 
then I say, you're not going down on my watch, young whippersnappers. <laughs> I think I, I think I'd rather you leave me on the floor. <laughs> what does it so, mean? So, <laughs> what was the temp HP? Mga kolikoy. Two temp HP. I put it on your character there. Thank you. Oh, I'm one in there. So to describe the scene, Homer, you pull out your spell scroll. And what's unique about the spell scrolls here in Skullduggery is that apparently the artificers of Skullduggery City found a way to miniaturize spell scrolls here. So instead of an actual scroll, you're holding like a spell card of sorts and mm -hmm. oh, the cool. spell card burns with energy and your familiar delivers it to Sorka and then your fey mm -hmm. energy. Uh, I don't know what your fey energy scholar is, but the ener the color washes over Trandafira and... You see, like, these roots, root-like designs just, like, seal some of the injuries of Trandafira. Oh, I imagine that was fair spirits are healing him, so... Okay, good, see some yeah. some translucent um, spirits that hover over Trandafira and yeah. put a light over her. And what's yeah. the color? What's the color uh, scheme? I would like to say that it's a greenish light color. Okay, there yeah. we go. There you go. Okay, and then after that, the uh, Homer says, "Get back up. We're not done here." Then after that, um, the familiar's turn, so it's going to move. Far can you go? Sixty feet, yeah. Okay, forty feet in this direction. <coughs> and then uh, I don't know how this works, Raph, because I don't remember the rules for help. But I want to help Dusk Bunny. <laughs> Even though that probably won't really matter all that much. That's weird though, like can it even find Dr. Trench? Yeah, in the I guess darkness? Yeah, I guess that's why I was asking. So, he'll do that anyways, even if it's not effective, then... Sure. He'll fly around and distract everyone, I guess, for <laughs> Dr. Trench specifically. There you go. Yeah. Anyway... It's helping. And that's what is happening over here? <laughs> anyway, um, it's Dr. Trench's turn now. No. <laughs> he is in darkness and he can't see a thing, so he will try to leave, leave wherever. Yes. And that will trigger opportunity of attack from Vendetta, so please. Ooh. From yeah, TJ. Put... Vendetta. No, uh, TJ can't see in darkness, I think. Ah. Yeah. You can only opportunity attack. Creatures you, you see, see leave your yeah. rear reach. Okay, okay. So Mika, are you there? Attack him with your reaction. Do it. Yes. <laughs> um, His AC I'll is low again. Scimitar. Do it. Okay. Oh, dude, uh, if he leaves the darkness, then help will actually do something. Yes. Attack. Scimitar. Do I have advan advantage because I'm an unseen? Yeah. Yo yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Do I get like wish bones for knowing that shit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, one one wish bone for <laughs> <your body>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <no>. Yay. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So attack submit our advantage. Mm, I'm this... sorry, I rolled in the wrong place, but it's twenty-three to hit. and yeah, twenty-three to hit and eight damage. Great. That will hit even with nice. shields. That will hit him, and fuck yes. Uh, yeah, as you run, you swipe at your uh, at your scimitar, and you were almost about to miss, but mm -hmm. suddenly Valak's arm guides yeah. you, guides your yes. arm to hit him right in the shoulder. And now, uh, like I, uh, like the doctor has to roll said for concentration. Concentration. Yeah. Yep. Please, please DC ten. DC ten. Mm -hmm. Please oh, nail the tentacles. Go away. Hey! Are you a computer, oi? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a computer. -er. Oh, oh, oi. Computerist. Computerist. Computer <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, he got he gets hit and uh, he's going to move out of the darkness spell, and he notices. Dusk Bunny, and you just hear him say, You're going to pay for shooting at me. And he lets out his hand. You see lightning crackling in his fingertips. 
Oh shit. Oh no. Oh and no. What? What you, is the happening? You get. Um, please do a deck save because he just unleashed lightning bolt at you. Okay. Oh no. Let's no. do this. Let's do this. Let's do this, bitch. Let's do this. It's okay. DC 14. Save decks. Uh, no advantage. Blah, 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 potential. Blah, 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 blah. If I fail this, I have lucky footwork because I am a rabbit. Okay. <clears throat> but right. let's not fail this. DC 14. Let's go. 19. Nice. Jumps Oof, up in the air. Does a backflip. Oh, yeah. skinny. You, you jump off the ground to prevent yourself from grounding so that the lightning won't, you know, connect to the from your body to the ground and cause yeah. damage. So you're able to survive. And this is at the third level, so let's... Is there half damage? Yeah, you get well, half of 29. Well, so shit. That's, uh, that's okay. That's uh, 14. 14. Points of lightning damage. 14 damage taken. 14 uh, dam damage. And then I think I need to concentration check. For yeah. So DC is 10, right? <clears throat> uh, yeah? Is it, guys? Yeah, it's half. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Half yeah. Of 14 is seven, seven is ten. So, yeah. 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 So save, con. Do I have? By the way, dude, do you have absorb elements by any chance? I do not. Spells. Ah. No, I did not account for getting hit because I am a ranger. By light. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mood. I, I learned my lesson. Save con. Eight. I fail. Um. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I want to keep this. Uh, wishbone? It's not. I only have one wishbone. Uh, 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 ah, do I have anything else? I do not. Voila, I will lose it. Oh. No favored foe. Yeah, no favored foe. Uh, that's okay. Okay, GG. There. And uh, Dr. Trench will keep moving. He still has his movement. He's gonna he's gonna be here <laughs> near the owl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, and no feather. and uh, yeah, uh, that ends his turn. Next is Duck's bunny's turn. Cool. Uh, so he's like, so he's like, you pay for shooting me, and then and Duck's bunny like jumps up. Hop like a uh, rabbit hops against this pole over here. Does a backflip. He dodges most nice. of the light. He dodges most of the lightning, but like it bounces off like this light bulb over here, hitting him a little bit. Uh, yeah. Failing his concentration, he rises from the ground uh, and then looks at him and says, "I'm not done yet." And then, and then it's gonna shoot again. Shoot this bitch with advantage. Oh. Attack, musket, ADV, bada bing, bada boom. Will he crit 24 again? That to hits. hit. Let's go. I do not have extra damage anymore. No more favorite foe. No more dread ambusher. That's it. Six damage. Okay. All right. This guy is bloodied. Bloodied. Oh, shit. He's just bloodied, folks. Yeah. Uh, at this point, Dust Bunny will yeah. whoosh, whoosh, 1, 2, uh, fi uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, uh, 40, like over here. And is like, <clears throat> and then is like, uh, Dust Bunny's there and he's like, you know, uh, doing like fast feet. Like, <laughs> let's see you catch yeah. up to, let's see you catch up with these. <laughs> <laughs> all right and then uh end turn all right uh trench is gonna take another legendary action shit oh okay. shit and he is going to 
you see silvery mist wrap around Dr. Trench and he disappears. Ah, bro. Bitch. And he appears over here. Misty step. Where? Yeah. Over oh, here. You fucking piece of shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next is Trandafira's turn. Okay, he, okay. I'm downright pissed. Get over here. And then he just spawns like <laughs> the, the, the fan, but this time it's closed. He's intended Get to stab him here. this time. One day, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can, I can just like, boop. Nope. Boop. Yep. And then, how deep is your love, Charot? Kaniba? How deep is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, no, it's uh, it's um, uh, ankle deep. Is it what? It's ankle as deep. deep as the ankle. It reaches up to the ankles. Yeah. Yeah. Part it covers me... your foot. It covers your foot. Up ha to your foot. Part of me just wants to drown him there. Oh. oh. Out of anger. <laughs> okay. Well. But you... I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the rogue thing and I'll just try to hit. Alright. Roll for it. That's uh where is my where is my dice? There it is. I found it. It's a pip 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 pip. That's a nineteen. Here, nineteen. That hits. Okay, and then what's the damage? Just no sneak attack for this one because. Yeah. Oh, that's a four. Okay. And then he's gonna bonus action and attack again. Yes, sir. No, sir. Ooh. And he's just gonna. He's gonna stay there. Okay. Uh, what's the damage for the second one? The second one does not hit. Oh, okay, yeah. So you swing your fan at Dr. Trench and it cuts one of his arms. You try to swing the second one, but he manages to duck, but you sliced his top hat. So you ruined a perfectly nice hat of his. Uh, <laughs> next is Sorka, your turn. Am I not down still? No, 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 no. you were healed. You were healed by Homer. <gasps> you're... Yeah. you're alive, sis. Okay. You're alive. Oh, no. You're running at 7 HP. Right. Okay, let's oh, go. By the way, the doctor can't reach? take any damage. I didn't record that. He did. She... He didn't. Oh, oh well, he did he... not. Okay, from, okay, my bad. From, oh, early, from me, 6 damage. <clears throat> Ah, yeah, that's yeah, so nah, it should be 50. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll change it. It should be 51. Uh, should be 51. Why 51? Okay. Because he rolled four. Because he had 47 and then. Uh, it oh, should be 55, 55 then. Ah, okay. Because uh, okay. my damage wasn't recorded. Okay. Oh, understood. shit. What was your damage again? Six. Six. Ah, there we go. Okay. 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 55 shots. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Okay. Okay. Sorka, your turn. Okay. She's going to be brave again. Ooh. Get it. Brave. Okay. Here, here, Bokor, here. You there. were here, lower. You were there. Mm. Okay. Pin up my one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can't reach him. You have to back him up now. You Bonus action dash if you're a rogue. Yeah. Or, no, uh, but yeah, then she can only attack once. If she yep. wants to attack twice, she can Let's throw her daggers, your... both of them. Use your tabaxi movement. Oh, Ooh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. You're, you're, a, you're a... a cat. I'm not going to say that word. Feline agility. Word. You're a, a tabaxi. Like... <laughs> not okay, I can... say that word. I can reach here. Uh, Where? Where I do? It's where not do you... moving. Ah. There, there we go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Choo 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 choo. Oh. Ah. Stab it, stab. Slay. No. Eighteen hits. It hits. And another oh. one. Choo. Damage. What? <gasps> nice. Ooh. Hey. Both hit. Revenge. Nice. That's four. So That's it's four only. Football. No, we don't. We don't add the three because offhand. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Just four, yeah. so that's 10 total. Five. Right. Unless Play. they were, they had two weapon fighting style. Yeah. There you go. Six before Play. 10, 10 down, 65. Okay, great. Cool. Coolio, Julio. Okay. 
Next oh, is yo. Vendetta's turn. Vendetta. B for Vendetta. <laughs> B for Vendetta, that's right. Vendetta will misty step here. Okay. Oh. Boom. Bonus action. We're teleporting, are we? Did you think you can oh, no, escape, escape us? <laughs> you you still have darkness. I can't see. Yeah, you we, can't see. We'll move. I hear another. Yeah. Hear another. <clears throat> call. My go, Gapon. No, no. Yeah. Let me. I think Vendetta had to use some movement because I remember Misty yes, Step has like 30 a range feet. of thirty. Yep. Yeah. But you can make it still there. Five, ten, there? fifteen. Like that. Where? Like what? In Ananang Darkness. Yeah. If you stay ah, okay. there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so that's my bonus action. My action is to... Uh, Wait, I, I have a suggestion, sorry. but wouldn't it be wise if you just move Drop. slightly from where you are and then... You cover only like trench and circle with darkness. You can do your attack, or... but you want to do melee, deba. Right? That's your plan. Yeah. Oh, okay, go, 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 go. Okay. I saw this one is a good one. Fine. Uh, that, yeah. that was just a suggestion. You know. She can like... also fine. Uh, she after she makes yeah. her attack, she still has extra move. movement to she can go. Move. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. That's a plan, said. Okay, so I will attack. Scimitar. Advantage. Actually, I feel like I have an an attachment token. That's Twenty-two to hit. Not. That hits. Twenty-two. Seven damage. Yes. That's taken. And then, how much ako ang nabilin nga movement? Five, ten. Fifteen, uh, 15 left, I think. Fifteen left. I'll move one. How do I cannot move the darkness? <laughs> I cannot move, but I'll yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, we have there. to redraw that. Yeah, I'll do it. I all right. I can't use my attachments because I can't change them because I'm not the DM. Mm. Uh, yeah, five, you can ten. do it in settings though. I think my dude, but yeah. S okay, um, no, so trench we... is. Uh-huh. Okay, no, it's okay. Continue. Trench is still covered in darkness, so that's a problem for those who want to attack him. Can I drop as an action? Yeah, yeah you can. You can. Drop it long. But is that an action? Uh, no, okay, no, I, I took an action. Will. Okay, I'll drop that then. There. I'll drop it. Oh, darkness? Drop it like it's hot. Yeah. Oh, I'll drop it, but I'll stay here to give in case. Kapuya ni muling ko Ah, uh, there. Okay. Drop it like. <laughs> <laughs> so I will not use the the remaining of my movement. I'll just drop the. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Next turn is Teej. Teej, Teej let's Teej. go. He's got you forty have to feet make movement. On this one, huh? Forty feet of movement. Yeah, he, he can, can get to here. He can cunning action. Yeah. No, he doesn't need to. He can make it. Ah, nice. Okay. Air, Air Genasi, baby. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, an air Let's go. 40 feet? Cool. Oh, you're a fast boy. Oh. He's a fast boy. Yeah, he said zoom. Yeah, zoom. <laughs> Maybe here again. Yeah. Go, 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 roll for it. Oh, does that hit? That hits. That hits. Hit. Yay. Yay. Uh, so if he shields, it's 21. Mm. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Hit him in the feet. Yeah, let's go six damage, uh, eight damage. Sneak attack! I will killing action again. Oh, it's sneak Nice. Sneak attack. Yeah. Roll sneak attack, said, just to... A sneak? A sneak. A sneak. Boom. Nice. Twelve damage. Let's yeah, go. that's 12. And then okay, your bonus action, you'll attack again. Is that what I heard? He yeah, cannot yeah, attack again. Never mind. Oh, oh okay. yeah, I don't have a body for, for, for that. Yeah, uh, right yeah. is not the light. I'll just cunning action. action. Okay. Disengage. Yeah. You yep. can't move anymore, though. Does he have more than 40 feet? Voila, no. Can, can I, like, like dash? Ah, dash. Yeah, so okay. you'll, you'll try to provoke mm. opportunity of attack. That's a good idea. You're, you're yeah. healthy. 
you're healthy. You haven't been damaged yeah. yet. This is yeah. we're baiting the DM to use his reaction. <laughs> oh, I'm baited. I'm baited. Okay. How far are you? Uh, your movement uh, again, so another 40 feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. But don't move that far in case he moves yeah. farther. He will not take the bait. He will let Teach go. You Piece know? of shit, mother, motherfucker. Okay. Stand behind me. <laughs> mother Stand behind mother. me, blue guy. <laughs> Alright. White, white cat. Uh, next is uh next is uh Homer. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Homer <laughs> Alright, so Homer. shit, I'm all the way there, but I have enough range. Um, you you got this old, old man. <laughs> old person has a range of sixty feet, so I I'm within forty feet. Ooh. Right. Yeah, Sir. so normally he like hits the staff on the ground. This time he points the staff towards Dr. Trend, Ooh. As, as he says, succumb to the venom of the viper. Ooh. I love that. So, and what's the, uh, at what uh, level is that? Uh, second level? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Trend uh -oh. releases a tiny bolt of electricity and says, I think not. He casted counter, counter spell, spell and lightning ah! just, you know. <laughs> Struck early. your arm, preventing you from casting it. Okay. But early is the counter. Yeah, this guy's annoying. <laughs> there's the reaction. Yeah, like, whoa. Yeah, there's well, a reaction. Alright yep. then. Just use my reaction for that. So, there you any go. bonus action? Uh, for bonus action, nope. He used up all of his fate energy, so he's just gonna move closer. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty gonna support his allies all right and then familiar's turn go ahead feather five and in 20 25 help Let's see the rogues. i think i should help dusk bunny still okay. so help dusk bunny and um let's see i'm gonna predict where trench might be so he might be here i'll put the feather guy there and now if Trench is anywhere near Feather, then the rogues will get sneak attack. That's my turn. Ooh. Brilliant. All right. Strats. Uh, let's see. It's Big Trench's thing. turn now. He's gonna miss and this again, I swear to God. He is panicking, and yes, as a smart scientist, he will run away and miss the step again. Okay. We, oh. we have the done, sir, we? <laughs> Where to, Baloo? <laughs> He will five, don't wait five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He will be here. He'll be right here. Okay. That is his turn. Bonus action. And yeah. That's that's a bonus action, yeah, shit. But he cannot cast a any leveled spell. spell. Yeah. <sighs> So, aren't you guys glad he can't do that? He yeah. will try... Cantrip? To ray of... He will cantrip someone. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Yeah. Let's see. see Don't let's... you guys love Dr. Trench? He's so impressionable. <laughs> his, head will be cut off. his head will be cut off after this. No <laughs> questions asked. So, so, I think he's pretentious with the outfit and everything. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Who's he trying to impress? <laughs> oh yay! He will he will fire the ray of frost at at Tej. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! He's healthy. He's fine. <laughs> he's healthy. <Bruh. laughs> uh, don't bra me. <laughs> bra indeed. <laughs> bra mo kag WTF? Okay, this one well, I'll roll and see. I'll be upset if I actually quit this and accidentally knock him out. It's like, oh my god! It's okay, man. Homer's around. <laughs> this is so funny. So, Trench gathers snow around his hand and releases a beam of cold at Tej. But Tej, you're able to duck and avoid it. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Because so 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 I rolled an 8, and oh, your okay. AC is probably not 8. <laughs> so he missed. That's a shit AC if you have yeah, that. 
His AC What's is the... at least eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that ends Dr. Trench's turn. Dusk Bunny, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, same okay. shit. Same. You've been helped, bud. Oh, no, Same wait. shit. Yeah, you've been helped, bud. Exclamation mark A. Uh, musket. Ch -ch -ch ADV. Boom! A oh, fucking piece of shit. Voila. Oh. Rolled, rolled oh. poorly. Nor. Uh, Bad. The, the, the gun misfires. Ch -ch -ch Fuck. <laughs> So and Ooh, the misfire. This bunny is like banging on the on the on the musket. No work, work. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I guess Dusk Bunny is just gonna uh, try to cover base. So he's gonna move five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Right. Damn. 30 over here. He's gonna move over here. <clears throat> and. I don't know, I was just gonna talk Dr. Trench. Dr. Trench? <laughs> More like <laughs> Dr. Stench. <laughs> I saw that coming. Same. Same. Oh Same. Kind of fear cringes. He cringes and, like, oh. And turn. <laughs> Trench hears you say that, and despite all the assault that he plays through, that's the one that offends him. He's like, <gasps> <laughs> the audacity. Oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> really? Oh, that, OMG. That is the that is the one thing that triggers you? <laughs> Damn. His smell. <laughs> not the not the not the stabbings and the <laughs> not the stabbing, but but the insult. Really? Yeah. And because of that, he will take his legendary action. <laughs> Do it. Oh, no. Do it. He was he was very offended by what you just told him. <laughs> no. How dare you? How oh, dare yeah. you? <laughs> yes. And he is going to cast... Uh, what shall he cast? He will this cast Magic Missile in the fifth level. Okay. Uh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> what yeah. the hell? How many is that? <laughs> is that... Um, that should be... That's 5d4 plus 5. Jeez. Yeah. Oh. So okay. you just see his magic Max missile damage is 20. take the form... I'll survive. Take the form, take the form of like multiple uh, red swords and he hurls all those energy swords at you. Do it. <laughs> okay. Oh man, here comes the damage. That's 5d4 plus... What was it, Link? Just... Plus uh, 5? Yeah. So it's oh shit. Bolts. Oh shit, I might not survive. Oof. We shall see. Oh, fuck. Dude, I you didn't. forgot the exclamation. Yeah. You got this. Whoop. I might roll low. Oh shit. Oh, oh wow. Oh shit. This doesn't look pretty. Oh uh, no. It's not pretty. 21. <gasps> I. Oh my god. I am down to Did 1 HP. <laughs> oh, oh! So. No! So yes. like, uh, the magic missiles, whoosh, the 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 five swords, whoosh, 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 hitting dust bunny, whoosh, 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 and he's like against this pillar already, and like his his back against the the pillar, he sinks down like back against the pillar, like leaning against it, and then he's about to fall, but then he staggers and pushes himself to to lean back against the pillar to stand back up. On one HP, and then he just mutters, <sighs> "Is that the best you got?" Oh, please, don't, <laughs> please do not taunt! Please do not taunt him like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, How many legendary actions is that? Three, right? Or, or... he has two legendary actions to cast a whole spell. He will use all two of them. Got it. Ah, uh, there. You go. Yeah. There you go. So, so no, no I more just... legendary actions for this. Uh, round. Yeah. Yes. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. And up next is Trandafira. I know, madam. Uh, yes, I will make my way downtown walking fast. No. Making my way downtown. And then I will do the I will do the classic swing swing. Bitch slap. He's gonna, yes, I'm do gonna it. bitch slap him with a with a, with a fan. Hopefully, I oh. hit. Bugbear oh, slap. 13, 13 Ooh. Plus, 13 yes. Plus five. Oh. Yeah. 
No, 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 wait. Let's see oh. how oh. much damage this is. Ooh. I still have a bonus action. I hope do I it. hit. Do it. Do I it. hope I do not. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Actually, uh -oh. wait. No. No, no, that doesn't hit. No. Okay. So, so what? Sad. Trandafira. Please tell me if you lethally or non-lethally yes. take this. You know what? Yes. Um, you know what? Um, you know what? Okay, hear me out. I'm lethally taking this guy out. Hey. Um, he's gonna, he's hey. gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna twirl. He's gonna twirl the fan. He, he's oh. pissed because he got, he got, he got touched by, by, without consent. Oh, the audacity! And he's gonna, <laughs> yes. He's just gonna, he's just, he's gonna cut his face vertically with the fan. Slay! Oh, yeah, yeah, he's just gonna flay his. his no, face. no, no! I will, I will shout. Cut it horizontally. We need his head to get some gold. He can, <laughs> he can have it. He can have two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's just gonna do that. He's just gonna cut him like vertically up. Oh, that's oh. so cool. So, so that's on his face, right? Just yeah. to be clear, you shatter his gas mask and. As he falls to the floor, you glimpse his his face. It turns out he has gray ashen face like a drow. Ooh. And you also notice that his veins are glowing with this weird energy. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait, Roll the insight. Joke. Insight? Why? No, <laughs> to make what, sure he's dead? <laughs> no, like, to know what the glowing things are. What's the color uh, of the yeah. glowing thing? The glowing green, thing, it's ener It's not green, I didn't say it was green. Uh, it is red energy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Cool, yo. It, that's why. And uh, his eyes are also colored green and... And... Uh, and as he's dying, the the last thing he actually mutters as trying to fear slashes his face is he just says heaven's fear. Oh heaven's the heck? fear. Heaven's fear. Yeah. Sphere? Ooh, sphere was... or fear? Fear. I, I typed it in SNS chat. It's heaven's fear, like scared. Oh, oh I got that right then. Heaven's fear. Yeah. Okay. I also put it in story notes, by the way. Heaven's yeah. Fear. It's like Victoria's Secret. What is it? <laughs> it's a perfume. <laughs> hey. Victoria's Secret. No, um, <laughs> you guys can actually do a history check for this if you want. Okay. Let's sure. go. I'll do it. I'll try. Uh, I'll roll my psychic thingy. While they're having well, their history check, on anything, so mm -hmm. Dust Bunny is going one. over here, this red area, if it's open, and he's gonna switch quickly switch back into Simon. Simon looks very beat up. <laughs> I'm just gonna okay. chill here, sit by the pool. Uh, but is this open here? <laughs> uh, yes, new area unlocked. Yes, please. Hey, uh, it's just the six. shortcut through the <laughs> through the base. So got yeah. it. It's a shortcut. My and history is still plus six. Simon just comes back into the room. He's all beat up and everything, but then he's like, Hey guys, uh, I found a shortcut. I found a shortcut. And then he just like, you know, collapses onto the ground. You are not fooling anyone. Hey guys, I don't know what he said, but I think he found a shortcut. <laughs> he's not, he's not fooling Simon. anyone. Simon. Homer will treat Simon with some good berries. Okay. Si yeah. So Vendetta, uh, you're the Thanks. one who rolled the highest, so you realize this one. Along with, uh, I think, Trandafira, did you? You made a 12, okay. 12 so plus 6. Vendetta, uh, when you make this history, Valak actually whispers to you, like, Did he just say Heaven Sphere? Yeah. Isn't it, isn't it that drug that's been running around the city? Ooh. Ooh. So, Vendetta, you realize that Heaven Sphere refers to a very powerful mystical drug that's been running around the city in the past few weeks. Mm. And according to the intels, Heaven Sphere is capable of granting a lot of a, a huge boost in in stamina and energy and like physical ability on whoever injects it into their veins. 
Mm. The only problem is based on the intel you hear from from around and from Nikolai himself. Apparently, it comes with the cost. Whoever injects this heaven sphere after the high is over, they go into a coma. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I will let the others know, uh, but you know, yeah. Fira would Fira would know also. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> So, so yeah. I do that. I inform. I would uh, gladly get the split in half head and put it in a container and give it to Simon to keep in a bag of holding. And okay. I will let the party know that we are to claim a bounty on this man as he is a sought after criminal. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And yeah. he's worth 1,200. And yeah, and he's <laughs> worth that much. Great. Regardless uh-huh. of his ugly face. By what the way, what ugly. used to be a face? Uh, Sorka still has those three vials of poison from earlier. Yeah. What happens? Do you... uh, they're, they're still there. See what happens. They're you wanna, still in. Y'all wanna share? I got some vials of poison. <laughs> Do you want me yeah. to eat it? So <laughs> oh. Keep them with you. Simon will take ah. one. Okay, I'll, okay, I won't take one because I have poison spray. Sige, one for Simon. Right. I, I, I just dipped the psychic blade with poison. What the <laughs> hell? Psychic blade. I mean, yeah. I like to think the psychic blades physically exist, Jude. So you can pour it on your psychic knives, but you know, when they dissipate, the poison falls off. Goes away, yeah. said, yeah. It's not, yeah. It's not a permanent it the, buff. I'll just dip it yeah. to, the, to the tip and you just like throw it and then the, it just... <laughs> yeah. You, you just get poisoned, but you don't get left a mark. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the, the psychic knives, I assume, has like physical space to, you know, actually cut things. So, yeah. Yeah. Because you, you require a free hand for it. Yeah. So, okay. The coast seems to be clear so far. And, Great. oh, okay. Uh, you guys can also notice around the laboratory, there are tables there with journals still. And, yeah. Uh, you find some items lying around as well, actually. You find some Ooh. loot. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. I'll go for the journal loot. first. I'll go for yeah. the so I can read it. Okay. Uh, okay. Le- since you look through the journal, you notice it's a bit difficult this time to read it because they're using a lot of languages, but the helm is helping. But mm. this time you notice a few druidic words sprinkled here and there. Oh, That's shit. why, like, very, very thorough Jutsi Trench. Now he's using other scripts. So, but don't worry. You can, you have a druid here, he can help you translate those words, Strandafira. Um, uh, and I'm a bit uh, taken aback by that, so I read the druidic part. Yeah. Come on, let, let us collaborate. What is this? Yeah. Well, uh, you see here, this is what this is. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. It's, yeah. like, it's like a full blown teacher, teacher, student, student, teacher moment. Yeah, dude. Alright, uh, what does it say, Ralph? Uh, the words, uh, there are like sprinkling words here and there, but basically with, uh, with the help of, uh, Trandafira and, uh, Homer, you guys are able to realize that, uh, this is, uh, this is, this journal says that there has been a breakthrough in, uh, in unlocking the doppelganger's ability to shapeshift. So these four individuals in the, in the tanks, in the... Uh, I know. They are actually doppelganger monstrosities that are capable of shape shifting. And based on the journal, turns out that they're trying to extract their uh, uh, fluids from their bodies to create a serum that can allow them to grant shape shifting powers to other individuals. So the serum is going to be used so that test subjects can perfectly impersonate Ronin and based on the journals it says here that you know the the leaders of the crown cartel will be pleased that they can 
their perfect impersonator of Emperor Ronan to control. That's what the journal says. Why so obsessed with power? With Jesus. They're on, on his mind, on their minds, rent free Emperor what? Ronan. Yeah. I, I know, I know Ronan is a married man, but Terran, what in Terran's earth is going on here? Oh, oh, and there's an interesting entry as well that mm -hmm. details some of the plans of uh, Dr. Trench, you know, if he wasn't murdered. <laughs> oh. So, here's some interesting tidbits. It says here in uh, the latest entry, Make preparations to attend the ball hosted by the Supremacy to secure and transfer prisoner O'Connor for the Gauntlet Church. Oh, O'Connor? Oh dear. Yeah. Um, at the, at the, like when she, Sorka hears the name, like she just instantly like shoots up. Okay, the bus, she was so tired from, you know. Yeah. They almost died. Yeah. <laughs> like her, like she just like stands up immediately and she's like, sorry, I'm sorry, can you read that again, please? Uh, uh oh, excuse me. Prisoner who now? Uh, yeah, I put it in SNS chat. This is yeah, yeah. Connor for the Gauntlet Church. You have any idea who this is? Uh, well, you, you know, my, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure. But you know, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. You can try um making uh history checks, you guys. If you might have heard this around, you know. You know, by other criminals talking about it. And okay. Vendetta, I want you to also do this with an advantage. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nope, I don't know but anything. The, uh, we'll roll. <laughs> Why are we all rolling fours? Yeah, wow. 19. <laughs> Another four. Uh, that's all. Wow. We as queer uh, spirit member, let's go. Yes. Homer. In Mika's also. Uh, Homer, you rolled. Oh, nice, Teach as Wait, well. That's too. so cool. Okay, so Homer and Teach, you vaguely remember chatter around uh, the alleyways and in the bars. And for Homer, you you mentioned you've heard of the Gauntlet Church in your studies as uh, being a druid. Um, there was a brief for Homer. There was a brief mention in like uh, your studies about the Gauntlet Church, how they are a faction of. Uh, a cultist faction that emerged from Rico Bishop's church who believes in using weapons to become the strongest force in Taran. They, they're using weapons for, you know, all the wrong reasons instead of, you know, using it to make sure that Taran's protected. And for TJ as well, you've heard of the Gauntlet Church. They are a cult that seems to be active within within the Skullduggery, a few faction members, and they're, like, they serve as, like, an arms-dealing group within this, uh, island. So, yeah. That seems to be what you know. And for Vendetta, uh, you rolled, I uh, know, 13, but you have yeah. an advantage here. Uh. You vaguely, vaguely remember the Gauntlet Church mentioned during the worst night of your life. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Noted. Yeah. Vendetta will just um keep to herself, just slightly stiffen up. Yeah. Like with that knowledge and would move here and start to immediately go on to the next move. Okay. Then Homer says, well, I think we gathered everything we're going to get here. What do you say, Dusk Bunny? Dusk, <clears throat> Simon is... Simon... Simon is like, Dusk who? <laughs> You're not fooling anyone. Let's go. <laughs> he, he, gives, he gives him the third journal for him to keep into the... <laughs> Keeps it. <laughs> and oh, meanwhile... Um... 
Oh, and your loot, guys. Let me just look at what loot you got. Hey. So, Meanwhile. So, I know you guys will pickpocket his dead body of, of Dr. <laughs> Trent, so... That, that's so true, yes. That's so yeah. true, but I will also toss his body in the water after. Okay, but you got his head, right? You need yeah. to send his head for the reward. Then that's making sure the head is with her. Okay. Or in, in the bag of holding that is. So, guys, I will put this in... Uh, hold on, where, 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 do I, where do I put this? Where do I put these rewards? In story notes? Oh, dude, yeah, you're story going notes. Southern too. <laughs> okay, so you get a plus one short sword, a ring of detect magic, one mystery key, one orb of direction, and one clockwork amulet. Those are the loot you find. Oh. Ooh. Who needs the short plus one? Short plus one. I don't need it because I have psychic daggers for now. Yeah. Uh, Give it to either. The either Teach or Sorka could have it. I could. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. And the ring of the tech magic. Whoever wants it. You, you know, it's you discuss this among your group. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, ring of the tech magic. I think it should be with Homer. Detect the detect the la la la. The ring blah. of the tech magic one. Yeah. Oh, certainly. Or both direction is I don't know. I don't know who should get that one. That's that's a compass. That's a glorified yeah. compass. Yeah. I bruh. He is good with like directions and stuff. Nice. nice. Yeah. Okay. Can I go and claim the short sword? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Can. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, on clockwork a, amulet. The clockwork amulet is a magic item. Uh, once per uh, once per day, I think you can use it to make sure that your you roll a ten. You make your dice rolls a ten lang. So, yeah. Uh, That's just, we can yeah. declare that after we know the roll. Yeah, yeah. I I believe so. Wait, let me check clockwork amulet. Mystery key though. Who gets it? Ah, uh, you Mystery can forego key. rolling the d yeah, there. You can forgo rolling a d20 to make sure that you have a 10 lang to your result. Mm. So, Benra. Yeah. Benra said. But considering that On some of you have expertise, you know, that's not a bad item. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Who Why wants we... it? Uh... I mean, I can get it if no one wants it. I can... Probably should give it to the one without the expertise, Yimika, oh, yeah. as Vendetta. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so okay. she she can catch up with the those with expertise. Yes, yes. All right. I guess I'll be taking mystery key then. Okay. That key lets is it's a five percent chance that uh it fails, but you can open. Oh, I need to make sure it's either a five percent chance that you open. You can open anything, but it has a five percent chance of failing. That's what the mystery key is. Oh, yeah. Uh... So the tool of a and, key. and but it's also one use as well, so use it wisely. Oh dear. The key okay. disintegrates upon usage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there we go. That That's seems your like some, and... some like finale uh -huh. item. <laughs> <laughs> what what finale? It's not the finale. No, it you seems like something that we're gonna we're we're gonna forget for most of the of most of the campaign, and then in the finale, we can't open the door. <laughs> yeah, it's just like yo, I have this key, and yeah. it just fails because the five percent just like because I'm unlucky. It's like well, ah, shit, <laughs> bruh. Ah. You're just well, like bruh. Fuck. Come <laughs> <Clearly. laughs> All right, guys. So, uh. I'll say that you guys were able to leave the the lab without problems. Uh, businessman was able to get rid of any of the guards, you know, as as of the lookout. He did his job. What about Ronnie? Yeah, Ron and Ronnie, they're able to patch themselves up and accompany you back to outside the lab. Yay! So, so we're gonna do a, a skippy skips, and you're back in the mansion. Cool. Mm -hmm. And we're all okay with that. Well, three ninjas. Yeah, the three ninjas, the uh, uh, businessman was able to like, like, take them out. Okay. Yeah. Business. So, man. you guys are back here, and uh, let's see here. Uh, on your way back, you guys also meet uh Nikolai's son, C Jed, 
And let her go, Charot. My hot, my hot cousin Jed. Oh, no, don't say friend. that. Oh my god, don't say <laughs> don't that. Don't tell that to Oh no, don't. Oh no. <laughs> we're not actually. Childhood. Yeah, we're not actually cousins, guys, because we're yeah, not we like family uh, friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just don't call him cousin. Don't call him cousin. Okay. Um, Oh. Big yikes, you know? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, oh, sorry, God. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys present your ev- the, all the evidence to to Ronin, and yeah. you also get the get the two dudes. They're they're there. They're there. I'll I'll put these two ninjas here as the two dudes. Yeah, we okay, just so. pop that that one head on the table. Yeah, and then. Ronan's just like, oh for fuck's sake, why did you why did you do this? Why did you put this head in front of me? What the hell? Okay. I mean, like, That's my wait. head. <laughs> <laughs> well huh? lis- listen, uh Where did you get this head from? The, 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 the corpses. The corpses. The corpses. The corpses. Oh, okay. the and the, yeah. Yeah, the uh, that Homer cut off. <laughs> You seem to be dealing with a with a coup, Emperor Ronin. And one of your family members seems to be involved. Which one is it? Alexander. 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 Gusseltail. Oh, it's not just your bitch. it's more than just your family, your majesty. It's a bunch of other people as well who seem to be working close to you. Son of a... Oh, god damn it. I knew Alexander hated me. I knew he... I know I know. I was bet. He knew that I was better than him and everything, but really he had to like do a coup now. So sad, so resentful. Anyway. The Crown so- Portal must be in... Is it, it, we saw a... a a symbol there that seemed to belong to the crown cartel. They could be working together, if not the same people. And then Riker uh, comes up to to uh, Ronan's like, "You're on my emperor." It turns out the crown cartel. We've confirmed it with the other Praetorian guards. Their crown cartel is composed of all the corrupt and rich nobles within the empire. So this cartel is from our empire, unfortunately, sir. And then Detective Sage as well. You you see this guy. You realize that Sage is actually mute, but he creates minor illusion to create subtitles for Ronin. And and the subtitles also say that, yes, we also confirm that the Crown Cartel is from the empire. Yeah. And... And you notice that Olympia is, you know, just, just uh, affectionately just comforting Ronin in the, in the shoulder, because Ronin seems a bit like upset with this news. You also notice Jed is trying to reach out to Ronin, but he pulls away his hand at the last moment. You notice that as well, mm-hmm. and, uh. Ronan tells you guys that so based on all this information you're telling me that they plan on replacing me with imposters and controlling the empire that way and a lot lots of people within my court are planning this on me okay that's I, the, I, I was suspicious of it, but to have this all confirmed is all right. Okay, I need to return to the empire, and I guess I need to do something very, very drastic to put them all down. Oh, Fira's gonna expend a psionic die. To discreetly enter to speak with Ronin through telepathy, mm-hmm. he's yeah. just gonna leave a he's just gonna leave a message. He's he's gonna say, "If I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust even your closest advisors. Trust no one in this situation." And then, uh, Ronin, with his passive intelligence, he figures out it's Trandafira. So he looks at Trandafira and. Gives him a nod. 
and then uh, Ronan uh, tells you all, I'd like to thank all of you for doing this job, doing it so well. Nikolai, thank you for for facilitating this. And uh, Jed, thanks a lot for, uh, you know, uh, making this happen. And uh, also, uh, he turns to Sage and to Marrow figures and he tells him, thank you both for, for your assistance as well. Uh, I owe the Skullduggery a favor for this. And he also looks to the two men, the two soldiers, and tells them, I am so sorry that this has been done to you. And hopefully we'll find a way to reverse it and restore your original forms. And then the two just uh, bow to the emperor and he says, like, uh, thank you, your majesty. Thank you, your majesty. Uh, we, we appreciate that uh, uh, you doing this and we will do our best to help you do th make things right as well. And then Ronan is a bit perplexed because these are just two men who looks exactly like him and sound like him. And then he just tells, no, uh, the best you can do is... Uh, be debriefed of this by a therapist. I will, uh, don't worry, I will fund that. So, yes, and uh, triplets. Oh, God, <laughs> triplets. And so Ronin looks to you guys and tells you, well, you did the job, you did it so well, and as promised, uh, all seven of you will have 400 GP each. Hey. hey. So Persephone, one of the Praetorian guards, just hands you uh, a, a sack of of it. A sack. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, real Empire gold, guys. So, hey. and uh, and he tells you guys, nah, I will, I will leave for this island now. So. Uh, I hope we are all good and done here. And I thank all of you for your business and the work you did here today. It went a long way. I will be dismantling my empire from the inside. So I will be leaving now. And, uh, I wish the seven of you good luck in your endeavors. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Homer, Sorka, Businessman, Trandafira, Tej, and Vendetta. I will remember you all for, for this. Yes. Thank you for trusting us, Your Majesty. We hope you keep safe. Play. <laughs> I'm sure. If, and uh, Jed, thank you. And and you hear Jed say, "Yeah, you're you're welcome, Ronan." Mm. <laughs> oh, wait, Jed is kind of cute, but though. <laughs> what the, uh, uh, what Jed, Jed is uh Jed is a uh, like uh, six foot and one inch tall dude, and he's buff for a changeling, you know. So mm. yeah. <laughs> Ronan's type of guy, but you know yeah. he's a married man right now, so you know he's with he's with his wife, you know, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Married, um, married, married right now. Yeah, right married now. right at now. The more now. At the yeah. moment, but you know, right one year they divorce, and you know, like <laughs> yeah. I saw. Yeah, but I Ronan, <laughs> Ronan definitely, Ronan definitely has a type. No, right. look at them. Look at, <laughs> look at them. White hair. Yeah. Pale, pale, pale skin. people. Yeah. The pale Collins. hair, pale. I know. The he really, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No. Ronan <laughs> <laughs> hey, must be into Sor Sorka too. The <laughs> <laughs> Ron, you know, if Ronan was single, he would give Sorka a wink, but you know, he's a married man. Oh, he's a married that. man. <laughs> he's old. He's old. But he's a married man. Yeah. No, Ronan is like 25 at this point. Uh -huh. yeah, he, Sorka, yeah. he's not old. <laughs> yeah. Goma, sorry. He, he's Goma, a young... 
Yeah. Yeah, like, I assume because he was emperor, he was like old. No, he was emperor at the age of 20, you know, because of nepotism. So, uh, yeah. Like, and because his father died. Like Cusco. Like Cusco. Like Queen, yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Queen Betty. So, so yeah. Uh, he takes Olympia's hand and they walk away. And uh, <laughs> as you walk away, you notice him. Uh, tell him, oh, we should tell Mr. Roos Dwayne that he can have his manor back. <laughs> As it turns out, this is Roos Dwayne's mansion. <coughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. You, you just notice, like, oh, the topiaries that resemble birds that shout the garden, you know? In a meta way, it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my. oh and this is the Bruce Wayne's. Ru- Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Dwayne. yeah. Bruce Dwayne. The Bruce Dwayne. Oh, my yeah. God. The, the richest bachelor in Athens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rock Knight. What? So, so, yeah. Um,. Ronin and Olympia and the Praetorian guards and and the two soldiers you notice them walking towards a tree they they're already exiting like if you look outside the window they're walking towards a tree and you see Persephone she just casts a spell and the tree opens like a doorway similar to how Keyleth does it mm-hmm. and they walk through the tree and they're back in the empire oh it's nice. like it's cool. like the Gauntlet of gathering deep in yeah. trees yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. And oh. so, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, Nikolai, congrats, all of you. Like, well, well done, all of you guys. We should, we should head to my club and have a little celebration with this money. If I will, we yes. also yes. split the bounty. Yeah, I will yeah. tell my uncle first as to where I can collect this bounty. Yeah, uh, Nikolai tells you. Oh, uh, we can. Uh, actually, I heard that. Uh, uh, the person who collects the bounties, Rebecca, she's the spearhead club right now. We can just head up there and <coughs> yeah. spearhead club. Fear's Fear's Fear gonna look at Vendetta and say, like, "Sorry, I got angry." <laughs> it's okay. If Put this Rebecca won't accept this bounty, I will personally. Cut her head off. Yes. We this will. This will uh... happen to you, Charot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very, very hostile. Oh, so nice. Wow, yeah, what is so this? this is the this is the Spearhead Club. This is the club. Oh, where I want to join this club. That that Nikolai owns. He is Ooh. the owner. Ah, okay. And this is where a lot of bounty hunters and a lot of like investigators ah. and hunters like they they frequent here to you know like chill, gather intel, have a good time, mm-hmm. and. Yeah, since since I uh, know since Nikolai himself is also you know like paid with this, he tells you guys uh, the first round will be on me, guys. Let's nice. uh, you know let's celebrate. And so yeah, I guess uh uh, vig- uh businessman will also be here. We'll include him too. Yeah, actually no wait, it's hard like because. He'll be, he'll be there. He'll be a bit loner mode, but you know, I'm sure he'll join you guys. But he's just smiling the whole time in a creepy way. <laughs> well, not the creepy way. Not the creepy in a, way. In a charmingly handsome way, but also in a threatening <laughs> way. You know what I mean? <laughs> not the, that's a that's a very passive aggressive smile if I've seen one. Ayo butangig ana butangig ana. Yeah. uh... (laughs) hey rebecca give me away my 1200 gold so that i can split it with these people so this is rebecca karen (laughs) rebecca karen is the uh one of the owners of another um place called the daily daisies they're the (laughs) ones who are they're the info brokers that you guys would often frequent to for like chismes and for Mm -hmm. intel and yeah you present it to her and she's a really beautiful woman as well she has this orange red hair she she wears like this really cool like trench coat with a necktie with all colored red and with a white like undershirt and she tells you oh vendetta all right um yeah i can definitely work with this Mm -hmm. uh 
yeah, the tr trenches bounty is all yours. You can uh, claim it the next day. I'll I'll roll the gold pieces and you can claim it. No problem. Mm hmm. Yeah. <coughs> DM, so, petition to make it 1-4 instead of 1-2 so it splits among uh, 7 better. You know what? Sure. Why not? Let's I'll go. Do that. Yeah. Let's 200. Go. 200 GP More each. 200 each. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, right. We have such uh, a nice DM. Aww. Congratulations, uh, guys. Um, On your... Uh, Vendetta, this is actually a huge deal for you because you've... Uh, hunted a few people that you know have bounties on their head but they're like locals and they're yeah. just like not really that important this is like your first, first important bounty because this yeah. is an international criminal you know mm -hmm. so yeah rebecca tells you congratulations Vendetta. you're you're in hitting the big leagues now with with this international catch you know of course i am duh but then i say but really i would have I wouldn't have done it without these, well, um, people. Anyway. <laughs> We're not people, some of us. We gotta be careful. So you're um, gonna just give that Individuals. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> All right. Uncle, let's uh, offer these individuals the best of this, the best drinks in this, in this club. Yeah. Let's go. You guys can role play a bit before we wrap this up. Uh, Jed is uh, giving you guys your drinks. You know, you guys are hanging out. Uh, you can role play if you want before we wrap it up. Mm. Furious is gonna spawn his fan. He's gonna be. He's so unassuming. Clearly has it, and and then it it hits him. Wait, I just killed someone. Oh no. Oh, uh, Jed asked you like, is this your first time murdering someone? <laughs> is this your first? Not exactly, but oh. it feels familiar. And then Rebecca just like pats you on the shoulder and just says, you, oh, don't worry, dear. It gets easier. No, it never does. It never does. Mm. I saw the old Rebecca. Yeah, I asked her, oh, excuse me, Miss Rebecca, ma'am. Yes? Do you happen to know anything about the O'Connors? Oh, the O'Connors. Yes, ma'am. I think we... I had intel once, several months ago, that a military man by the name of O'Connor was around. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, you know, it's just while we were doing our investigations, that name came up. But we did, we still didn't know much about him, so I was just curious. Thank you so much for your help, ma'am. Well, of course. Uh, this information will come free of charge. Oh, <gasps> much appreciated. All right. And then Sorka just becomes quiet and continues to drink. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then... Uh... Valak briefly appears behind Vendetta. Where is where is Vendetta? Okay, no. there she is. Uh, what the hell is she doing there? Mixing my <laughs> own drink. Because <laughs> Jed and Nikolai can't make drinks for shit. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Valak, there. He appears behind you and he tells you, So, Vendetta, what are you going to do about the information. It turns out maybe the supremacy is your next lead. Yeah, I think so too. Um, maybe we'll do ask around, do more research about, you know, the was that the rough gauntlet church? The gauntlet church, yes. Mm -hmm. Those Let's... heretics that apparently displeases the god of weapons. <gasps> Oh, you know about this? Why? You mean, you mean Rico? I have How? known about him because the scimitar that was created to seal me, one of his fucking clerics did that to me. Oh, damn. Well, so we have two missions on this trip now. 
two purposes. It, that is to, you know, get some revenge for yourself and get some revenge for me. Well, you know me. I'm retired, and I'm sure the cleric is long dead. So I just want to move forward with my predicament and live my best life. <laughs> and we can start by taking a nice huge drink of that thing you're making. Nice. And I take two gulps. One for oh. her, one for him, one for me. Yeah. <laughs> and and he uh, he tastes what you taste as well, so he's enjoying it, sad. Nice. She seems yeah. to hold her liquor very well. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, so what do we think about this quaint team? If not I can bad. call them that. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> could could definitely kill. Could definitely <laughs> hold their own. You know, <laughs> I was thinking, guys, this is Nikolai talking. Like, based on the intel you gathered, you said that the, there's this party thing that's going to be hosted by the supremacy. Mm -hmm. I think we should uh, give them a visit. Yeah, a heisty little visit, if you ask me. Oh, I quite like parties. He fans himself. Yeah, it's uh, the supremacy is known for their very fancy parties, and uh, you guys uh, have been brief on this. The supremacy is a group of a group of criminals that are all from the sorcerer class. And they are uh, known for traveling around the world and plundering a lot of treasures and magic items. And they throw a lot of party where they auction it away to people. So, not a bad target for a heist, you know? Mm. And also, they're, they're the leads to, you know, Prisoner O'Connor and the Gauntlet Church. Yeah, and also... Michael. Oh. Actually, Trandafira, you also vaguely remember the supremacy did jobs for Darius when you were young. Oh, Trandafira was fanning himself. Yeah. And then he closes the fan, and then it, it, it disappears after he snaps his, fin his finger. Interesting, interesting. Well, seems like a lot of us here have interest with them. What about the rest? Well, if there's a party, there's sure to be awesome food and drinks. Count me in. I like what you think. I like I like how you think. And he just like he just like extends his hand for a high five. <laughs> Come on, dude. Homer's not that ignorant. He he hits your high five. <laughs> nice. It's like ah, oh, so I remember when I was that young. <laughs> I mean. You're young at heart. You guys also notice that uh, Detective Sage is also in the in the bar, and he approaches you guys and waves at you. And okay. yeah, he he casts Minor Illusion, and the subtitle says that uh, he can't help but overhear that you guys are planning to attend this party. And then he changes the subtitles again and he tells you guys, um, what do you think of uh, doing a job for the Skullduggery and stealing a few things for us over there? For the right price, we will. Of course. And then Sage just like gives you a, a kind smile and gives you a thumbs up. And then... Uh, he he tells you uh, in subtitles like, "Please wait for my partner. Like she'll do the explanation because obviously I can't do any <laughs> long form <laughs> explanations." <laughs> he does he speak a language? Uh, he does speak a language. Yeah, he Con knows a language. Oh wait, no. He doesn't speak a language because uh, 
Like, if you ask him, he will reply with minor illusion. Unfortunately, he cannot speak a language because his disability prevents him from speaking. Because mm-hmm. I'm wondering, Psychic Whispers, it says here... Uh-huh. Oh, oh, it can't speak a language, so it, he physically cannot. So this is just mute. Yeah, but um, what about knowing a language? Would that still count? Can you read the description? It states here it's speak a uh, wait, even yeah. the yeah, it 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 has to speak. It, they have to speak. So no, nope, yeah, not using it. It's incapable of speech. Yeah. Mm. You you guys also notice actually Simon in particular. You notice that Sage actually has an arcane focus with him. You notice he has a gem in his uh, a ring and a gem. So yeah, you can figure out that this guy is a spellcaster, which is really weird considering he can't speak. <laughs> That is true. Yeah. How does verbal work with you? I see uh, that you're a spellcaster. Sage uh, responds in subtitles like, Good observation. Uh, I am actually a sorcerer. And I have to use subtle spell a lot. <laughs> That's to cool. To cast my best spells. That's so cool. I see. Yeah. And then he just responds like, I may not. I may be incapable of speech, but I won't let that stop me from being a good sorcerer. Aww. That's the spirit. Yeah. And then he also, and also, I just like using Ice Knife a lot because it doesn't require verbal. <laughs> and then this uh, detective, Maro Figures, she comes in and she tells you. So I guess you guys are uh, open for this job. There are a few items you see that uh, we have intel that the Supremacy has, and we were wondering that maybe you guys can help steal it for us, and of course we'll pay you. Considering this is a dangerous mission you're stealing from the Supremacy, how does... Mm, 500 GP. Ooh. Pound. Ooh. I just tell him that's more money than I make in my year's worth of farming, so I guess you can count me in. Okay. I'm interested. I am very interested. Well, based on our intel, the supremacy is coming here in a month's time. We have a lot of time to prepare and to canvas our targets, so... Looking forward to working with all of you. You need, if you need literary text to be translated, sir, my services are open. All right. Okay, guys. So we'll be contacting you soon, and the two of them walk away. He was and fingers and goodbye. <laughs> he, he uh, Sage, yeah, he just waves at you guys, and also Mario also waves. Then. Uh, yeah, uh, if anything else, uh, anything else before we end the session, guys? Uh, I guess Trandor here is gonna end up using, how much parchment would it take for me to transcribe the first, second, and third journals? Uh, the interesting parts that will take you, how much parchment do you have? I have currently... Then and I think I will buy more. Depende lang. It'll take five parchment pieces for you to transcribe the interesting, fascinating parts of the journal. Okay, that'll work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, you guys, this new budding team of rogues and not rogues, <laughs> you know, preparing together to run a heist this time. So. In a month's time as well. So, yeah, that's where we're going to close the first episode of hey! Finance Kaltagari. Oh. Congratulations yeah. on first session. Let's go. Yeah, guys. GG well played. GG. Oh my God, that was like, how many hours was that? Four? Is it five Four hours thir- now? 4.38. Dang, okay. Yeah, okay. I mean... Granted, we did take a lot of breaks. Mm. Did, yeah. No, yeah. that's that's without the breaks now. Without, without the breaks, oh, but dang. Dang. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, because okay. I I pause I pause the recording when we have the breaks. Ah. Dang. 
These are so long. Okay, okay. Okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's right. been a while since I DM'd, so... Yeah. You know. It's fine. Yeah. You did great, yeah. sweetie. Well, Good I'm not mad about it. I loved it. Um, yeah. GG well played. Well, How many levels? Though. Two you levels. You guys are level six now. Let's hey, go. Hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. Two levels. Cool. And then oh, everyone yeah. everyone gets 600 gold total each, right? Yeah. yeah. I put that in the rewards. Not ah, scarce. there. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. Good shit. Oh, level 6 na ta. Oh my god, let's go. Yeah, because uh, one, month, one month has passed. And I assume you guys did like jobs here and there and you fought some people. So, yeah. Ooh. You skipped level 5 and stuff. So, yeah. Wait, wait. Nice. wait I, have, I, have to, I have to check the builds here because hey, this is where... Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, TJ and I have to hop off because he has school yeah. tomorrow and I have to bring him. For sure, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, no yeah, school yeah. tomorrow. Bro. No school? We can oh. sleep in? You can sleep in? Yeah. Fuck yes. Let's go. Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go. Let's. So, so guys, I just. Why no school like... tomorrow? Well, uh, tomorrow isn't school day. It's just like online meetings. So... Okay. Hi. Hi. Makes Great. Sense. Let's go. I was so like an orientation of some sort. Hey, Roach. I was so worried I'd have to. Let's do your MS Teams now. Okay. Good job. Good job, Rafi. Good job, the yeah, team. Good job, Raf. I love it. Oh, I love it. I'll I'll end the video and then we can continue talking. <laughs> Let's go! Hey, GG. Oh, like, subscribe. Good like, job, subscribe. Rafi. Everybody, that was Rafi. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, good job, Claire. Thank you. Oh, oh my God, Rafi. Rafi, I have an idea, Rafi. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching Sins and Skullduggery. That was episode one of uh, 10 to 12, although I think 12. And uh, we started at level four. Uh, thank you so much again for watching. If you enjoyed it, um, um, I hope you did. And please take care. Uh, much love. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peace.